Bart, a bite, a overhand right. Stop it! Welcome to. body of a, a um, grown man. Molden, you can tell, he's still developing. He still got like a teenage frame. And a good right hand lead by Molden. And I think he might have hurt Cuba. And it's no excuses. You know what I mean? When you got two guys in here going at it, blow for blow, toe to toe. And when you signed up for this, you already know what it is. You know. And um, that was a good little left hook from uh, Moten. Um, Cuba good. He had his um his half hands, his right hand up to block the hook. It's definitely is a great fight, and especially be the the opener. Two young guys undefeated, putting it all on the line. Man, they don't do that no more. You know, but that just let you know what Floyd think about his young protege. He feel like he is the next guy. That's why he putting him in tough. And he putting him in early. K9 boxing. And did y'all order this fight right here? Cause um, this fight I believe um was the price for it is sixty nine ninety nine. And, um, you know, Tim Kazoo got a late replacement, you know, um, and which I think is a better. And 48 seconds in a round. And I'm actually enjoying the fight as much as trying to accommodate this boy. You hear me? Yeah, somebody O is about to go. And it's kind of sad because I just take my hat off to both guys.
putting it on and taking chances early in their career. So it's it's definitely sad that one of them gonna take a loss. But hey, it is what it is. When you sign up for this, it is what it is. Both guys are super featherweights. And just like in basketball, on TV, well, the difference in basketball, off TV, they don't look like they're that tall on TV. But in boxing, they make these guys, because the cameras are right up close to them, they make the guys look taller than what they really are. And if they featherweights, trust me, they're not as tall as they look on TV. They're a lot shorter. I believe take about 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, they listen to him, I think, about 5'6 or something. Stop it! Lee right hand from Moten. Good combination from um, Cuba, but Moten's um, counterpunch landed a lot harder. For those that's, that's actually tapping in and don't understand what's going on, this is called the watch party where I watch the fight and I'll tell you what I see. It's me commentating and you tuning in. Definitely hit the like button when you tap in. Show the live some love. Oh, good combination. Moten is taking it to um, um, Cuba. Cuba is backing up. And dang, Moten is trying to take him out the game. He don't care about him being undefeated. He's fighting him like he a bum. And you got to be careful, though. And they doing a lot of wrestling, you know what I mean? And I can understand it happening because you're going to try to do whatever you got to do to survive and not to get knocked out. So you might see a little wrestling here and there. With two, uh, two um, undefeated fighters early in their career. And like I said, I take my head off to both guys, man, because, man, they are taking chances. And the mover moves on, and the loser goes home. Good hook from um, Cuba. Good jab from Moten. And that's the end of the round. Yeah, and that Moten, Moten is what, he's, what they say he is. He really good. He really good, good. Yeah, so, man. And I can't think of the young man's name right here. He was actually working on Alicia Baumgartner's corner before. Um, He's actually in the corner of Moten. And Leah Santa Cruz, former world champion, is actually in the corner of um Cuba, who's actually, I believe, the manager of Cuba, who was actually fighting against um Moten. Floyd Mayweather is part of Jay. So yeah, it's definitely um. Hey, what's this? Amazon Prime. This is definitely a, a great opener for Amazon Prime. They definitely doing it big with the with the opener. How many great openers you gonna have? Oh, good hook right hand over the top from uh, Cuba. But how many openers you gonna have that's gonna be the top this one? On uh, any first ever broadcast, another right hand over the top from uh, Cuba. You know, getting a little bit of the respect of Moten. How much respect? I don't know. Another right hook from um um Cuba. So whatever um Santa Cruz told um his. Part of Jay, uh, right now, and early in round four, it's actually working. You know what I mean? And you remember, he was the guy that got knocked out by Tank. So you don't want to see his opponent. Good combination from um from Cuba. Uh, good roll of punches. Good combination from Moden. Yeah, Moden's losing this round. If any, not, uh, the other three rounds he won big. Oh, but this round right here, boy. Um. Cuba done woke up. I don't know what they told him. I don't know if they gave him some spinach. But the boy done woke up in this round right here. And if you don't wake up the way um, Moe was coming at him, he was going to go to sleep. So it's wake up or go to sleep. It's your choice, my bro. And um, he decided to wake up. Stop it. Good one, two. Down the middle. You know, it's a good, a good effort. He didn't land it by Cuba. Uh, good another one, two hook. And then he's moving. And um, 
That's one thing I hate to see fighters do. Uh, Cuba is, is walking to his opponent. He walking like you got to slide to your opponent. Both guys jabbed and missed. Yeah, and both guys are going somewhere. I bet you they ain't never been been before in this kind of competition. Uh, we in round four. Both guys have never saw um, somebody as good as the person that they're in the ring with right now. Trust me when I tell you. Even though Cuba has fought two undefeated fighters, I bet you they wasn't as good as Moten. Stop it. I'm trying to tell you. And, um, man, like I say, this is a real, real good first opener. You know what I mean? To be on TV broadcast. And um, I'm happy to be on um, the guy that's doing it for you guys. And Moten trying to set something up. He's moving his head real good. Um, good combination from um, Moten. Um, good defense from um, Cuba. And this is a super, fe super featherweight bout. On Prime. First uh, first fight. And um, I don't know how, the deal that that, um, that PBC got with Prime. But the first, first undercard. And first fight. Of a lot of business, I think they're gonna be doing with PBC. Oh, uh, good right hook from um, Moten. Good, good round from Cuba, and I don't care what they're talking about, because you know a lot of times you know the analysts and commentators can be biased, but um, Cuba won that round for sure. So he's down in my eyes, three to one. And if you got eyes, three to one. It's a good fight right here. Yeah. Trainer, Cut Moden, now Farid, Farid Samad. So Farid Samad, that's his name. They got him as a cut man, but he's the lead trainer. Because he's the one that's in the ring. That's the reason why if you're looking at the fight, uh, Moden keep looking down at the back, took it to the side. He's trying to get the instructions from his dad, who's really his trainer trainer, you know? Hard to listen to a person that's telling you what to do and you ain't been training with him. Not that you don't respect him, but you're just not used to the combinations and what he's saying. So we're in round five and good jab from both guys and a good fight. Oh, good jab again from both guys. And this jab that, that um, Cuba landed, same that back. Um, holding up for a second. But yeah, this this right here fight is going to take both guys to the next level. Even a loss. As long as neither fighter get knocked out, it's going to take both guys to another level. Because the experience, you know, you can't pay for experience. But then again, maybe you can. <laughs> you know, but experience is something that you're going to have to get in the ring with and deal with and learn. Maybe the hard way, or maybe not the hard way, but you're going to get it. And good combinations. Both guys are in the phone booth fighting each other, and they both coming back with some good punches. And I think that, um, oh, good little hook from um, from Cuba. And Cuba's getting, he's getting as much as he's getting, giving as much as he's getting. Both guys. Man, both guys letting them go. Oh, good combinations from um, Moden. Now, Moden landed the better combinations that time. Cuba still landing. Oh, Cuba still landing. Moden landing. Oh, but now Moden is backing Cuba up. Cuba said, let me give me a little break. Let me take, boy, both guys are in tremendous shape, you know what I mean, to be fighting, I believe, both guys in their first eight-rounder. And they are letting it go. Normally, you would try to coast. You know, about the time you get to round five, you done threw a gang of punches. But both guys are not trying to coast. They actually still going and trying to see what's happening. And that little left hook, that little Moten is landing is, is, is a good little right left hook. And um, he's definitely being challenged. Yeah, he's definitely being challenged. But I think he's used to this. For some reason, it just seemed like he'd been here before. And and I know they only, you know what I mean, that, you know, they say gym work. It's gym work. It ain't the same as an actual fight. And um, but it can prepare you for something like this. You, if you banging in a gym like this, with well, high class um opponents, and I know that um even though uh Tank Davis wasn't trying to take Moden out the game, 
you know, Moten gained a lot of experience from Tank Davis. A whole lot of experience. So it's going to prepare him for days like this. Now, who has Cuba getting in the ring? Who has Cuba been in the ring with? Has he been in the ring with guys like Leo Santa Cruz to help prepare him for stuff like this? Probably so. But it's definitely a, a good, good fight. And they both hitting each other, banging them. Um, and, and Moten is throwing, you know, he throw a triple hook. But I don't think nothing on the hooks that he's throwing is more like slaps. But, uh, man, they still getting to the money. I ain't going to lie to you, for real. Stop it! That was a great round. Man, what a fight. This is a good fight. If the main event is anything like this, boy, oh, boy, oh, we are in for a store. We in store for some real, real action. And then, I forget, we still got... We still got um, um, Pitbull Cruz, you know, versus um, Roly Romero. Oh, and these little um, highlights. The highlights is looking good, boy. They showing the highlights in slow motion. And um, boy, it's good work, both guys. Man, what a combination. Man, these boys working. I'm for real. I'm telling y'all. Round six. Good body shot from um, Cuba. Man, these boys going. Cuba with Cuba um bouncing. You know, showing you know the, the um, judges. I am the fresher fighter. Uh, Moten still trying to figure it out. Uh, I don't like Moden having his mouth open the way it is. You can mess around easy, get your jaw broke. I mean, I don't know, you know, how you end up with that that bad habit. But um, I guess when you good, good, you know, you can end up with a lot of bad habits because what can somebody do about it when you that good, good? But his mouth is definitely open. And I remember him in the amateurs going to um tournaments with, with my son who was boxing amateur two at the time. And um, yeah, both guys were looking good in their fights. Lil K-9 and Carmel Moten. One minute and 42 seconds in the round. And it's unbelievable that Joe Goosen gave, you know, every round to Moten. And I just have to disagree that the last round I had to get a comb to Cuba. I get Cuba one round. I said the last round. No, 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 no. I gave him one round. The last, the, the, the um, fifth round. Yeah, yeah, we the fifth round. They only gave him one round. Hmm. Oh, that was good overhand right. He set that one up. I don't even know how his opponent didn't see that one. Like, Moten just jumped in there and threw the overhand right. I mean, how could you not see that one? But then again, you know, when you're in there, you certain things you can't see that a person on the outside looking in can see. Good little uppercut right hand. The same punch that um, Moten been throwing the whole fight. Oh, now he's putting some pressure on um, Cuba even more. Uh, this round not looking good for um Cuba at all. Round six in a scheduled eight round fight, and boy, Moden is going to that body. I don't know nobody like body shots. Good way to go back to the body from Cuba to Moden's body. Good hook right hand from um Moden. Yeah, well, Moulton definitely is putting the pressure on, on Cuba, boy. But Cuba is tough than him up. And he's very stubborn. He's like, I'm not going nowhere. You're going to have to take it from me. You know what I mean? For you to get me. Yeah. Boy, it's late. It's a great opener. It is definitely a great opener, you know? Oh, man. 
That right hook right there, I can't see how he got here with that. He's trying to, the right hook that Molden landed against um Cuba. How did he land that? I don't know. Then they show him throwing the uppercut to the body, then the right hand over the top. Same punch he been throwing all night that he he continues to keep landing against um, Cuba. They show the replay with the same shot. And it's like, you got to eventually get away from that shot. I got to say, okay, when he go to the body, he's coming back to the head because he's been doing it all night. But, hey, like I say, he just said and done as far as being able to catch it. Oh, good right hook from on Cuba. He finally gave Moten a taste of his own medicine. Oh, another good right hand. And he caught Moten with and he hurt Moten. Yeah, Moten can take a punch. Like he, he, you know, when he want it, you want it. He took it, boy. But if he get caught another one like that, he going to get buzzed up. Because no matter how much you can take a shot, Oh, he he must have hurt the other guy. Anytime you hit a guy hard with everything you got twice and the guy don't go nowhere and keep coming, that take a lot out of you. You be like, man, this guy's not real. Hey, somebody test him. He's on steroids. You start thinking any and everything. You start thinking, well, am I supposed to be here? Why did, I, why did I pick this sport? It's a lot be going on in your head. I done got hit before and said, man, am I really a boxer? Maybe I need to find me another career. And you know, a lot of things go to your head when you get caught with some stuff like that. Good right hand from Moten. Oh, man. Moten is putting, hey, he putting something on that boy Cuba. But, hey, Cuba, every now and then, he's landing some, some great shots. And if you got somebody like Floyd Mayweather that's actually putting a stamp on you or or promoting you or really getting behind you like that, a lot of times, majority of times, you're really that guy for real. Uh, look how he got behind Tank and look, how, look, look where Tank at in his career. And at 17 years old, oh, Moulton seems to be on his way for sure. If he can win this fight, you know, it ain't going to do nothing but do nothing but a lot of confidence for him. And he already had confidence. Anytime he got in the ring with a guy that, that had seven fights, seven and oh, and, and done beat two guys that was undefeated. This guy is very experienced. Very experienced. And Moulton had to really, you know, dig down deep because – he could not tell me he wasn't buzzed with a couple of these shots. 34 seconds left in the round. And Moden is definitely in some good shot. I mean, good shape. Real good shape. We got uh, 22 seconds left. And both these guys are going to be sore come tomorrow. Um, 15 seconds and Cuba's doing what he, sh he should be doing. That's going to the body. Moving and going to the body. Moving and going to the body. Man, it's a great fight. I ain't going to lie to you about that one. Great fight, boy. Man. That was real good. They showing the right hook. Boom. Ooh. That's that's a dangerous shot. That's why I, I love throwing that shot. <clears throat> Up in the air. I duck and I dip and throw the right hook all the time. I love it. That's my shot. Man, it's a good fight. Man, that's a great fight. Last round, y'all. Wow. This is a this is a great fight. SB, you hear me? Man. I'm talking about the, the levels, you know what I mean? Both guys giving all they got on the highest level. Undefeated. This is 
You get no better than this right here. Both guys are undefeated, giving it all they got. You don't get no better than that. And I like one thing I like about both guys right here. They both trying to put it out. They don't know. I mean, one guy for sure is winning, but you know the other guy still giving everything he got, especially in the last round. Because if they was to have him up, and in the last round was the uh, the factor on who wins, you got to go out there and win this last round. If not nothing else, win the last round. It could be going your way. Who knows? You know what I mean? But I doubt it. But it's good he's giving it all he has. Both guys. One minute and 45 seconds left in the round. And boy, all you got is all you can give. And as long as you're doing that. But at the same time, I think that um, Cuba has to really watch it. As they say, be careful. Because I think if somebody was to go to sleep, it would be Cuba because um, Moten seems to be more steady and um, Cuba seems to be just, you know, trying to um, get to the final bell. And them body shots that um, Moten is placing on um, Cuba is something, some, some serious. Yeah, and um, Cuba's being smart enough to get out of there, but them body shots clearly are paying dividends big time. You can see it. It's just like as soon as he get hit with the body shot, he just sounds like the whole his whole world just stop. And, and yeah, forty five seconds. I wouldn't mind seeing a rematch or something like this. Maybe on down down the line, both guys you know catch you know, you know what I'm saying get get some some titles up under him, or get a little bit more experience or a lot more experience, and um, hopefully um Cuba continues you know. Going forward and don't let this take him down if he don't get the decision because he's a great fighter. He ain't bad. He just ran across somebody better than him. And he took a chance, though. I mean, how many guys you know that's as good as him, that's undefeated, going to take chances like he taking? Man, we got three seconds left in the round. Uh, Moden trying to catch Cuba, and it's not going to happen. And that's the bell. Uh, a lot of respect for both guys. A whole lot of respect for both guys. Boy. Oof. Yeah, I take my health to both guys. Man. I might have gave him... Um, um, Cuba, two rounds. Yeah, I give him two rounds. I definitely give him an A for effort. Yeah, he definitely get an A for effort because um, he definitely put on to the fullest, big fella. And I appreciate everybody for tapping in, boy. Definitely. Man. Yep, somebody old has got to go. And unfortunately, definitely unfortunately, because both guys took chances, man. And I, I like to see guys taking chances, you know? Hey, but it is what it is. Okay, about to say who the winner is, y'all.
You're the right person, definitely got it. Yeah, it was a good one. Yeah, I hope he keep his head up. They showing um, my man's, you know, who came up a little short. Hey, but he did good. Cuba did real good. Anthony Cuba, good fighter. Yeah, and I like what he's saying. He said he's the better man tonight, you know? And straight facts. But he'll be back. Like he just said, he wants the rematch. Yeah, he did. He did really, real good. Man, for real. And Jordan Plant, who's the reporter, just on uh, interviewing, you know, Carmel Moton. And you definitely would think she would know what she's talking about. Her her husband is a former champion. So that's good that, you know, you got people that know boxing that's involved in, in, in um, the sport. Because you know she's going to know exactly what to ask on a high level. him some questions right now so that's why I'm just sitting there paying attention just listening asking Moten some questions yeah and definitely when you tap in hit the like button I believe it's um the three dots um in the right hand corner of the screen at the top three dots hit the like button what that's gonna do is actually help the channel so definitely hit the like button, y'all tap in. Okay. Oh yeah, well just hit the like button then. Whoop that, you hear me? Whoop the like button. I got you. Okay, all right, appreciate it. Oh boy. It then got real tonight, early. Man, it got the, yep. I wanted that a little too loud or not. I said I wanted that a little too loud or not. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man, you tell me my, my back is on fire. We ain't did this in a minute. How long has it been since we went, did it um, alive? Yeah, I could definitely feel it in my back. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, please get them yeah. Peace, Airy. Yeah, so I think the um actual the like the main car starts at eight o'clock SB right around. Huh? 
Okay. So the main car starts at eight o'clock. And so, and at the main car, how many fights do we have? It's gonna be a long night, boy. And being that I'm a little under the weather, you tell me awesome. The struggle gonna be real. Oh yeah, they gonna definitely um do a lot of talking. Yeah, they gonna do a lot of talking. Tim Gazoo has a lace replacement and Sebastian Fendora. Do you even have, do you even have, do you even give, or do you have um, Sebastian Fendor beating Tim Kazoo? Or do you think even Sebastian Fendor has a chance? Now, I had Sebastian Fendor beating Tim Kazoo if Sebastian had never gotten knocked out. But, huh? Yeah. And you know, SB says same. Yeah, and I, I, I could just about guarantee you they would even took the fight on short notice if it wasn't for him seeing Sebastian getting knocked out. So we would not be seeing this fight for sure if, if Sebastian Fendora wasn't coming up, off, coming off a knockout. But um, you know, boxing is all about you know, um, matchmaking. It's about um, knowing when and when not, you know. It's about taking chances, you know. It's about the best, about fighting the best, you know what I mean. More often, you know what I mean, then, we, then you know, that would have been the case. I mean, you know, but um, I believe we're going to get more of the best fighters fighting the best now. Especially... With it, with it not being as many networks that's covering boxing. With, with, um, with Showtime exiting the sport of boxing, fighters are going to have to take more chances. That's, you know, that's less eyeballs on the sport. You know, um, it's less opportunities to, to make yourself a name for yourself. Um, Showbox is over with You know Which gave a lot of young fighters The, the opportunity The chance to showcase their talents And um, that's not You know Around the sport anymore So You're going to really have to take chances And that right there um, That series Was based off You know Undefeated up and coming fighters Putting it all on the line you know, I took my first loss on Showtime um, Boxing, um, Showbox, you know, and um, it is what it is. Bounce back from that, thank God, and, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's over, they're showing uh, as we speak. Um, the, the, uh, they call him the Pharaoh because he's like six foot five. You know, fighting that German weight, six foot seven, lean and mean. And um, I want to see, you know, if the the bounce back is real because coming off a knockout and fighting for a world title like two two fights later, that ain't no joke. You know what I mean? And hey, he young, so all things are possible. Anything can happen. And we show about to find out. And how do you even get sparring partners for somebody as, as good as this guy? You know? Especially if the money ain't there. So ain't nobody going to just sit there and say, hey, I want to spar you. Especially for free. You got the lamp. You know what I mean? He, he got the skills. He got the power. Uh, Sebastian Fedora. And boy, I wouldn't be knocking down my dough trying to spar somebody that big. You know what I mean? 
His sister won a world champion too. Her name is Gabriella. She's a flyweight. She has the my favorite belt, the IBF belt. Um, her IBF belt though is blue. Yeah, I never saw a blue IBF belt, but I guess her being a woman, they didn't change the color for her. And the IBF belt, that blue IBF belt, looked nice. But um, yeah, the um, so the broadcast for like the main card should be in an hour and ten minutes. You know, but um, what? Oh yeah. I, I call it SB stand for shadow boxing. <laughs> yeah. Cause a lot of people don't shadow box. Uh, like I say though, you know. With with, with with the fighters, you're not having um a platform like they had with um Showtime. They're gonna have to you know stand tall and step in the ring and face stiff competition or face, you know. The um face the fact that they could be out of action if they don't take certain fights. So yeah, I, I believe we're gonna get better fights now because especially with these YouTubers taking over the sport <laughs> and you you fight, are we gonna take a YouTuber to take your place? Or you fight, or you just won't fight again until you know you know you won't be offered a fight to next year. I mean, think about it. PBC got a lot of fighters. And so hopefully, and the fighters' contracts, if they don't fight in a certain amount of days, they can get about the contract. Because I, I really definitely would hate to see fighters, you know, with promising careers on a shelf. Being with, um, Oh man, I hate they about to show this. They about to show, oh, the Inferno getting knocked out. Oh man. Boom, oh, Fandora, yeah, oh. When your head hit the canvas like that, ain't no getting up. Doom, oh. That's a double, that's a double whammy. And then he looked at the referee and said, come on, ref, he pushed me. He did not, he did not push you. The way he looked at the referee was like he cheated. You ain't see him cheat. I remember when I beat Corey Spinks. He looking at the referee when the fight was over, like, you know, you, what I do wrong besides hit him? And last time I looked, that's a part of boxing. Hit the man, right? But I know what happened right before he did get stopped. He remember getting pushed out the ring. So yeah, he was still. You know, in that moment, not knowing that the moment had passed and we was in a different moment. And that was my moment. And something I will never forget happened 14 years ago, 2010. And um, yeah, I'm blessed. To God be the glory. So Brian Mendoza is 22 and three with 16 knockouts. And he's 30 years old. He's weighing 153. And um, Bohachuk is, you know, tw uh, 23 and 1 with 23 knockouts. Boy, that's a good one. He's 28 years old. He's 6 feet. And Brian Mendoza is 5'10. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Brian, yeah, definitely. So Brian Mendoza did knock out Sebastian Fandora, but then he got beat up by Tim Kazoo. So he know both guys real good. But it didn't get beat up bad about Tim Kazoo, I don't think, if I remember that fight. Yeah, if I remember that fight, he did real good in that fight. Now this ring announcer, Miguel Flores, he's... He's a, I think he's a brother of the other guy that I know. Ooh, man. And you should be ashamed of yourself if you ain't hitting the like button. 
Um, whether with me putting on like I'm putting on, boy, if you knew how I was feeling right now, I think I'm gonna have to get in that um that steam room and just say forget it afterwards and loosen the body up. Definitely got good um Mendoza got good good taste. I like his outfit. Both guys actually, you know, look like they came to fight. They, they both look kind of sharp. Who, who, who did? Ah, okay. <laughs> he got to show me. He got to take a, take a picture and then forward it on Instagram. Let me see it because I think it's cap. It's right here. This right here. Hey, Douglas, is that the Douglas I fought? Huh, SB? How you supposed to know? Because his name is Kirk Douglas. That's the guy I fought. I fought a guy named Kirk Douglas. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Man, I'm glad you didn't have the heat on, boy, because my body banging. It's, I'm hot in the mug up with this song right here. Gotta find me a t shirt. I'm gonna have to switch shirts. Oh man. Yeah, Think about it tonight. Let me see. Hey, he done got a lot of experience. Hey, he. He knocked out from door. I didn't think that boy was gonna get knocked out by anybody. Yeah, he put that boy away. But you know, styles make fights. So good job to the body. I'm trying to figure out what this. Bahachak, Bahachak. That's his name, SB. Bahachak. Mendoza versus Bahachak. Oh man, when you when you go from where you was at to where you at now, or from the top almost, I ain't gonna say to the bottom, but you take a little slide, man, they can they can match you with whoever they want to match you with. And the Bahachak. Bahachak is one you could tell he's um like he a Russian on the SB. He kind of remind you of that guy knocked out Derek, um, Daniel Jacobs. You remember him? That McCrane guy, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. But you remember that guy that knocked J Jacobs out? Man, that he kind of put you in, in the mind frame of that guy right there. Yeah. What's up, D? Earl, Earl Shoulders. What's up, Earl? Yeah, yeah. I got a birthday coming up. You're right. E Black, Vinny Roth, Spider Moose, Kobe, Brian Z13. Oh, man. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Yeah. Oh, what a day, what a day. We are getting to it. Well, hey, hey, SB, they definitely um blessed because um I'd have told you to get to this live at um <laughs> eight o'clock.
Oh, man. I see why that first fight was um an opener. It probably should have been the main the um the main might main fight on the on the opener. Not this right here, because I don't know what this stuff right here is going. That right there was not it was a real awkward first round. Yeah. And I guess, you know, it's you got to take what you can. So I guess they told Mendoza, hey, you got to take this fight. And he said, no problem. That's why you want to get in position to be able to run your, your career, your own career. And they can't just tell you to fight who they want you to fight. This guy going to be very hard to look good against. This Boashaka. Yeah, I can't wait to um, the Pitbull Cruz fight, and I can't wait for the main event. Them the two fights, and that Moden fight who j that just went off with him versus Cuba. Them were the fights that I was really excited about seeing. One of them. Now, if um Mendoza can get his opponent up out of there, Boa Chak. Are we gonna ask what I think it is? SB. I think his name is Boa Chak. Boy Chalk. Boy Chalk putting some um some pressure on Mendoza. We don't know if Mendoza is going forward or backwards. But I tell you, I tell you who want that rematch though. I bet you Fedora want that rematch. I mean, anytime I lost a fight to somebody, I definitely wanted to get that back. But I ain't gonna I ain't, you gotta you definitely gotta win. Yeah, but I wasn't gonna chase a I was not gonna chase a coupon. No, 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 I was going to chase him. I felt like I had passed him up, you know what I mean? Right. Even though he had won. So, but, I, but then I always tell you, though, if we ever fight, I am not going to go backwards and get, you know what I mean? Forget that. Huh? Yeah. I saw him in his career? Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, it is what I did. Yeah. No, he wasn't. Yeah, when you start, when you just tell yourself you can beat somebody and you know you can beat them and it ain't what you thought it was, it messes with your confidence. Good little jab up and down from Mendoza. So Mendoza went from from beating uh, Fandora, knocking Fandora out, to Madura being the main event. Tell me how that happened. Oh, boy, shock. Boy, it's shy like he hurt, huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, but still, yeah, even if it's a late, late replacement, he's still a main event. And he still got knocked out by um Mendoza. These guys banging out. They are banging out. Yeah. That part, I don't know. Maybe. I hope so. Who? Okay. Now, what are we going to do? Don't speculate. Oh. Uh. Okay, so he was ready though, but he was getting ready, prepared. That's what I'm talking about. I know. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, that is yeah. Well, yeah, you right, All right. Hey, you sure about to find out? Yeah, we definitely sure about to find out. He got a good corner man to stitch. I know Stitch Duran. Yeah. Take up Duran, yep. Had it right. Stitch, make sure y'all hit the like button when y'all tap in. Whoop that trick, you hear me? What my people was talking about.
Boy, I don't think I, hey, my boy D1, I don't think D really know that box like that because he'd be like, you know who got this one? <laughs> he'd say little stuff like, let's go, champ. <laughs> he won't say, he won't break nothing down. He won't say, I ain't never, hey, D, I ain't never heard you say nothing like, man, a co, a, a co, um, a K, if he go, if he was a jab, the body didn't go to the head, he'd knock that boy out. I thought I put you up on G note, boy. I thought I put you up on, ooh, good right hook from Mendoza. You got to watch him. He's sneaky. He's a sneaky puncher. Because I'm telling you, the Aferno did not see that shot he got knocked out with. You could have never told me that that boy was, was going to go out like that. He went from on top of the world to on the bottom of the barrel. Man, when he, and that's the double whammy because when you get knocked, let's say you, when you get hit and then your back of your head hit the back on uh, the canvas, boom. That's a double punch. That's the one you don't even see. They hit the back of your head, boom. Yeah. Yeah. And like your head about to hit a pillow, you go boom. You just go back and it's like you ain't prepared for, for going back and hitting your head like that. You be knocked out, boom. Yeah. But I ain't never hit my head like that. Double X, what up, though? Spider Moose asking questions that we will not have no clue. He too awesome. He too awesome. Who was Fedora getting ready for? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well, ASB says she think it was um Boshachok. Boy Chuck. Could be though for sure because does that make sense? Because he won 54. So. Yeah, and I think he took that last minute. Boy took his spot. He looking like it too. He looking like a lacement, lacement, a lace, uh, late replacement. His face bleeding like a mud. And he not looking good. So like I said, how you become an opponent? When you you knocked out the for the for the um the pharaoh, the t the tower, and now that guy from Ukraine is putting pressure on him. Is there throwing bombs? Dang, good right hook. Wow. Um, yeah, he getting touched up. I ain't getting there. You don't need to be getting there with somebody that have nothing to lose. Everything to gain. I I can't to be honest with you, I can't think of no promoter that ever did a good job with me. Well, this then again, yes I can. K9 Boxing Globe Promotions is the only only promotion that did me some justice. The rest of the promoters was terrible. I'm talking about from Golden Boy. Don King, um, uh, what's that? Uh, first round productions. Uh, who else? Who else was prom uh, promoting me? SB. Um, so I could think of. They all did bad jobs. Yeah, I think the best job out of all of them is is might be a tie. It's a tie between first round productions and um Golden Boy. Cause uh, Golden Boy at one time came and bid it um, against Don King and won a purse bid. And at that time, I remember that's me getting my. I think that was my highest purse at that time was one hundred fifty thousand. Um, and then a local promoter out of Michigan, uh, when I was you know trying to get back in the game, you know came and uh, remember bought me a ride. I remember getting the rent paid for. I, I remember getting a uh, stifer every week. Yeah, but when I lost my first fight, oh, man, I, it was like, hey, I got to fight this guy. The promoter was telling me, you got to do this. You got to do that. And that's when everything went downhill. But thank God for the contender. Because I got right back, you know what I'm saying, on um, where I needed to be. And... They was terrible too. Matter of fact, I forgot about them. They were bad too. The contender, because they didn't know what they was doing. And they put their trust in the wrong person. But that's how it be. When you don't know, you don't know. But um, yeah. 
Boa Shock, Boa Chuck, is giving Mendoza all that he can handle. And um, don't know like he if he don't win this fight, we probably will never see him in a ring with um, um, Sebastian Fedora ever again. Sebastian Fedora go out there and get knocked out. Um, Mendoza go out there and get knocked out. I think Mendoza take a chance on fighting Sebastian faster than Sebastian would take at fighting Mendoza. Now, and in this fight, I think it's a man. It's my, it might be a I ain't old. Oh, it might be a fifty fifty chance that both fighters can get knocked out tonight. Like Mendoza not looking good, and you know his um his opponent from Ukraine is on him like a K nine T shirt. I'm telling you, and yeah, and this don't look good. And it's twelve round fight. We only in round four, and every time I look up. Mendoza is on the ropes being pressured by Boa Shock. And yeah, Boa Shock, he, he, he definitely he fresh. He ain't been hit. That's that's why, you know, hey, when you're an older fighter, you don't want to be in the ring with a fighter that's fresh, fresh, ain't got, went through nothing. That's why you see a lot of the young fighters that be calling out the older fighters who done did some. Because they know his reflexes ain't going to be the same. But at the same time, he done been through a lot. You know? That's why Taz Crawford, you know, he ain't thinking about fighting no boots. Like, boots ain't went through nothing. So he got so much, you know what I mean, that he can take. Because he ain't never went through nothing. While Crawford, on the other hand, had to push through. You know what I mean? Because he would be going backwards to take on a guy like boots who ain't did nothing. You know, Crawford is on his way out and and by choice, not because he has to be, but because, you know, hey, he been in the, in the game for a nice minute. He done paid his dues and he looking to cash out. Who can I cash out with, you know? And um, if if um, Tim Kazoo went tonight, this might be the opponent that um, Terrence Crawford ended up facing. Could be Tim Kazoo because it's for a world title. And... Tim Kazoo got a whole country behind him. Let me rewind that. You got a whole country behind him. When you got a country behind you, you got that behind you. A whole lot of money. So, I can see that fight happening. You know what I mean? And it's, you know, I don't think Kazoo is um, special. I think he's good, but I think that um, Boots Ennis is special. You know, his upside is up. And Tim Kazoo, I don't know how much he can improve from where yet. You know, you get what you see when it comes to him. And guess who they showing right now? They showing Isaac Cruz. Yeah. And to this day, I still think he beat Tank Davis. You know, y'all can say what you want to say. As a fan, you're going to say what you want to say anyway. You're going to believe what you want to believe anyway, especially if you're a fan. But, um, yeah, you go watch that, that fight between Isaac Cruz and Tank Davis and, and tell yourself, be real with yourself, who really won that fight. You know, if you say um, um, Tank Davis, if you say, I'm, I'm going to look at you and say no. You say the fans, okay, I'm agree with you. If you say Isaac Cruz, I'm agree with you. So yeah, they got Mendoza losing. They got so far out of three, five, four rounds. They got um Boa Shuck up 39, 37. Hey, I'm telling you, um Boa Shuck is putting pressure on Mendoza. And then I don't know, yeah, I don't know why he, you know. I got to go look at the career of uh, um, Mendoza. I think Mendoza's last fight was against Tim Kazoo, SB. And maybe that's the reason why he's, he's forced to have to take a, this fight right here. Maybe he didn't look that good in that fight. Because the, this this fight right here is off TV, on TV, on the undercard. Not of the main event, but the main card, but of the... um. 
the showcase card, like the free the free TV part of the uh, on the card. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm talking about. Oh, boy. My guy, what's happening? Mike Dudley, what it do, my dog? Appreciate you for tapping in, boy. You ain't tapped on us, boy, in a minute. Andrew Charles. Man, yeah, I appreciate y'all for tapping in, boy. This is the watch party. You know, watch party is when you it's the watch party, you actually commentate the fight. You can't show it. So if anybody tap in and say, hey, show the fight, let them know what it's called. The watch party. Watch parties, you can't show the fight. They will take your life down if you dare show the fight. And they might penalize you. Can't play with their money. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's why I don't, I don't be messing around with this part of it, you know? A lot of times, because I, I know I don't saw them do that before, you know? Yeah, I saw them do that. But the people that, you know, that you get, they going to tune in regardless, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a great go-to, boy. I'm telling you, this would not be possible if it wasn't for the wifey. So, shout out to SB because my production stinks. <laughs> Stop it. You hear me? But I definitely know what I'm talking about. Put me in front of the camera and it's on and popping. You hear me? I love when cats be talking about some K9. What's popping? You know what I always tell them? This jab. <laughs> Stop it, you hear me? If somebody asks you what's popping, say this jab, you hear me? And then say shout out to my dog, K9. Arr, 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 arr. For sure. So we're in round five. And in round five, in a schedule 12 round fight, why in the world do they got this um, schedule for 12 rounds? Okay, it's the intern, yeah, okay. I was wondering because... Fights like this on this card where, you know, just straight action. You should be giving guys opportunities. Shouldn't be no world championship um, fights on this kind of fight card. It should, the world championship fights should be on the main card, you know. But I'm happy for those who's able to actually see this, though. You know what I mean? Because they, because you got to think, one of better fights than this. We watch fights. Fights that that, that yeah, listen that they would wouldn't dare to show now um, on Wide World of Sports uh, SB. You know they show Sugar Ray Leonard versus Roberto Duran. wasn't on no pay per view. That stuff was on Channel Seven News. Wide World of Sports. That's why boxing was so great back then because they were showing all that stuff on free TV. They were showing Muhammad Ali on free TV. And people were desperate for boxing. They would listen to the radio. And Howard Cosell was talking like this. And this is Howard Cosell. The wig at Muhammad Ali. He's floating like a butterfly and stinging like a bee. And he has him down in round three. Yes, the greatest fighter of all time is Muhammad Ali. Floating like a butterfly and stinging like a bee. And this is Howard Cosell coming at you live. Rest in peace to Howard Cosell. He probably was... um. Man, the, the best um, broadcaster in boxing history. He was good, good. Yeah, he was good, good. Yeah. And Manny Stewart knew a whole lot about boxing. He uh, he could have been possibly the best commentator of all time, but I don't think he gave everybody the, the real knowledge, you know what I mean? Because, you know, he, he probably held back a whole lot. He had to pay for that. You're going to get that knowledge off TV, I'm telling to you in your ear when I'm in your corner. Yeah, he wasn't giving up that free juice. And this is a good little fight right here. I don't know if y'all watching it. Um, Boy Chuck 
and Mendoza. I couldn't even believe this, that this was um, on pay-per-view for sixty nine ninety nine. We got a late replacement, you know. Um, you got prime time. Um, they, it's their first um, fight. You would think that their very first fight, they wouldn't have it on pay-per-view. They got all that money. Wow. They can afford to just show it for free just to get the eyeballs, you know, watching them. But, you know, some cats is greedy. You know what I mean? They say the rich get rich and the poor get poor. That boy, Keith K9, best YouTube commentator of all time. I agree with you 100%, Keith, because you said it, my dog. Appreciate you. I take that all day. EQ, I think Morton did real good. Morton did real good, EQ, in my opinion. You don't get no better than X fighters commentating. Just like in basketball, you see the people that work for the networks be there. In basketball, NBA is the former NBA basketball players. That's crazy. This guy got this guy got a charm of Pitbull Cruise. Did you see that, SB? He just showed the charm of Pitbull Cruise. He got a, a little pu a little puppy with some big ears, but he got his face. I would not have wasted my money on that. <laughs> yeah, he is being too funny. Maybe it was a gift. He back at it. Round seven. It look, look like um, Bo Bo um Bo Chuck got like a cut on top of his head. Yeah, like he got a, a cut on top of his head. Man, yeah, SB show the live some some serious love. Cause boy, I'd I'd have been catching me some Z's. Oh, good up uh, um good hook from um uh Boashuck. Oh, good right hook from um Boashuck. They putting that guy in a hard fight. I remember they tried to play me and SB. We had lost a fight to E.J. Smith. And they tried to throw us to the wolves. Remember that SB? We told them to kick rocks. Did we tell them kick rocks? Like man, we ain't we ain't what we ain't nowhere near what you think we are. They just try to just write our career over with. Like, huh? Just take this. We'll give y'all this. I think they offered us seventy five thousand too. Seventy five thousand and take this right here. And you know, we said nope. Guess what? Guess what? Our next fight was a world title eliminator. And Golden Boy was so mad that they did an unbelievable price bid. It was real low. Probably was the lowest price bid, um, uh, what's that called, um, purse bid of all time for a title eliminator. We was like, okay, it's cool. I knew we were going to get the last laugh. Oh, I, that's okay, because after that, the, the next fight was a hundred stack and for a world title. And we won a, the belt, another title. So you just got to be patient. You got to you know, believe in your skills. You got to have faith in God. And, man, all things are possible. We went from, if we would have took that fight, and believing in that we that it was over for us, like like my, my former promoter believed or thought, you know what I mean? And, but, then, but then think about this, SB. Why would we, you know, why would we sign with you when you try to fight feed us to the wolves? Anyway, you remember? Hey, you try to fit this to the wolves and you want us to sign with you? Heck, you know, you weren't trying to sign us after you after that lad, that fight, y'all try to just give us that bull jump. They dirty in the first place. When you think about it, when we fought against East Shea Smith, they didn't they didn't care about it. they gave that whole card to Floyd. Huh? They do, they do. Yeah, they gave the whole card, they gave the whole card to Floyd. They didn't even show. Oscar wasn't even in the building, was he? Wow. 
wow. He wasn't even in the building. He just let man. And you know if it's a big fight. Imagine, imagine him being um, Canelo fighting and he promoting Canelo and, and he ain't there. You ain't going to never see that. I'm right or wrong. So, you know, you don't do that to your a world champion. I don't have to be Canelo. I'm a world champion. I'm your fighter, a world champion. This is the biggest fight of my career and my life. I'm at home. You ain't nowhere in the building. Cat dirty. Super dirty. So I, and what goes around comes around. That's why Canelo was like, beep, beep. Got ghosts on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the biggest the biggest arm robbery in boxing history right there. I got to do a video on that one. I've been thought about doing that one. Ooh, man. I'm definitely going to have to take a TV break in a little bit. Oh, trust me, y'all. This boy will be banging. We ain't banging like we normally would bang. You know why? Because the after rhythm is off. So don't worry about it, you know. As long as we got the faithful people in this boy, you know, and make sure, you know, I'm commentating the fight, so y'all kick it with each other. It's almost impossible for me to commentate the fight and look at exactly what y'all saying to let everybody, you know, know what y'all saying or, or shot you out. And all I'm watching, to be honest with you, is just the same old, same old. Like, this um, Boa Shock is just going, you know what I mean, forward all night long. He making um, Mendoza have to fight the whole night. Even though Mendoza might not be getting caught with nothing super crazy, he making Mendoza have to pay attention the whole fight. Uh, this is not a fight that I would want to even take. There's got to really be some money involved. Because this guy, you know, this this funny style guy, the uh, Boa Shock, he's not, you know, he's not a, um, a dog or nothing, but he's just constantly coming. And then he's not a hard puncher. So a lot of times when you're not a hard puncher, it's so easy to take a lot of punches. And then he got, he just, I don't know, he just seemed wild. So when they wild like that, it's so easy for them to be able to catch you with a head, but it's easy for them to catch you with an elbow. So you you risk so many things happening to you just to, just for the fact that this guy being so awkward, constantly coming at you, throwing punches. He on man, I could see me knocking a guy like him all the way out. Uh, SB, you mean one? Because he just ain't got no that is that one coming in at one way, slow as I don't know what. I line his butt up. Yeah, I definitely line him up. Yeah, he too slow. He walks slow footed. Yeah, he definitely. Yeah, both these guys looking like garbage. I mean, and I'm not trying to blaze nobody, but I'm just like calling it like what it is. On how I see it. You can't tell me I look like I'm 50 years old. I'm sitting here looking at myself on TV, SB, and I'm like, the boy look like he's 20, 27. I could pass for 29, SB. Hmm? She, SB said I, I, I could go for a hard 29, a hard life 29. I don't agree. I don't. Cats be figuring out when they be finding out I'm 50, they be like, You 50 years old? They be giving me that, you know what I mean? That, um, they say it like that. And man, I thank God for that. God, hey, God know what he's doing. And he made, he blessed me to, to do the right things, to, you know, so, um, to keep myself up to par. Man, I don't like these kind of fights. These kind of fights that just, you know, 
on paper they they be all right because guys are both throwing punches, but it just be awkward looking. It just you know it just be awkward. Just oh no, I don't like these kind of fights. Dad just too tough for his own own good. Then uh, the fighter who ain't got no power can't do nothing about the fighter who ain't got no power. You know, one guy constantly coming. Other guy got potentials, and he and he styles make fights. He go out there and knock out uh, Sebastian Fendora, but then he go out there and lose to a guy that don't nobody even want to really see who just going to keep coming. And nothing special about this guy from Ukraine, but he just keep coming and keep coming, and he got awkward punches. He punch off balance, all kind of stuff. He just, he makes bad for TV. It's just an ugly look, in my opinion. And here's what it is. When you got the trainers you got nowadays, who, man, don't teach the basics. And man, I saw some guy at the fight the other day. Man, they was calling out some of the craziest stuff ever. They were saying, um, Philly Shell. Then they was like, hit him with the Canelo. I'm like, that. why would you call another guy it's Canelo? And that's your fighter. You hit him, you tell him, hit him with, with, with what your fighter name is. But not with, he's got the name and all these other different fighters. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It was unreal. I'm like, well, why don't you put the guy with some boxing shoes on? Then go from there, because he had on some Jordans. I'm talking about Jordan gym shoes, not Jordan boxing shoes. <laughs> but then SB said, hey, well, um, Serana, Serana, what's her name, her last name? Serana what? SB, what's Serana last name? Oh, <laughs> she said... <laughs> She said Serena last name is Serena. Oh, why you didn't say Amanda her last name is Serena? Wow. See how they do you? They ridicule you on TV. We on live TV champ. Oh boy. Oh man, happy resurrection. Um <laughs> Sunday is supposed to be tomorrow, what we call Easter. And that's so crazy because just think about this. Man, what they call Easter normally don't come that fast. Like, it's about to be what? Tomorrow is, uh, was it April 1st tomorrow? Or was it the 31st? And Easter is what they call it. Normally comes a little bit in April, not the first Day of April. Yeah, they changing everything up big time. Yeah, they change they changing everything up big time. What up, seven deuce? Oh, boy, I'm glad this all was over, boy. Oh, round 10 and a scheduled 12 round fight. Oh, I'll be putting in some work, boy. This right here, put it in perspective. It get, that I'll be, man, me and SP, this is not no joke. Be up under them lights and have to call the fight. Something different. I got my fighters fighting in Golden Gloves, April the 13th. A lot going on. Man, two minutes, seven seconds. Around 10, dang, what time? We still, we still got 26 minutes before 8 o'clock. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Huh? Shoot, that ain't no joke. I ain't going, man, I'm telling you the truth. I'm going to have to go in there and get some of that medicine. I'm definitely getting the steam room tonight. I can't do nothing but getting the steam. Get, get my body together. Sweat that stuff out. 
Oh, man. I do not like these kind of fights right here. Because I don't see no skills at all. I just see guys throwing punches. I like to see, I like to see setting up a shot. Got that hand out there to do what? And just throwing punches. Just... And it's sad because the Mendoza guy, he didn't make, he didn't pull off some big upsets. Why are you gonna put him in there to get killed? Or put him in there to to just bleed like a mug. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you ain't lying. Oh, heck yeah. Hey, B.I. <clears throat> it would sure be nice if you actually um change your um your feed name. Cause that right there is a lot going on. I can't say shout out to Miss B.I. Yeah. Please change your feed name. Just let me know that's you. Man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anubalizer. They say a new what's that SB? A nubilizer? I don't know. What that what, what is that, Kobe Camp? I like the part you said they throw in your lungs. I told SB though I wasn't gonna be drinking a lot of coffee. I wasn't gonna drink a lot of coffee. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to clean you out. Uh, order one of these mugs then, okay? Is it supposed to be good for you? Okay, let me see. Uh, this, uh, can I just remind you to... Um, okay. Yeah, Kobe, do it supposed to be good for your health? Kobe Camp? That could be God definitely telling you to, to, for me to get one of them. That might be good for you. I think I saw one of them before, too. Uh-oh. Oh, man. See, they got the uh, boa shock up. So this guy, Mendoza, go from knocking out Sebastian Fendor to now he about to gray loose to a guy we never heard of before in our life. Okay. But what uh, what about the health part of it? See, that's what I care about that part. Yeah, 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 no. But normally when you push that mug up, I know I pull it up. All I got to do is go to a part and they tell you health parts for it. They tell you, okay, clean your lungs out. And, um, That's why I got you. I can't do nothing right now. Okay, yeah, I, I'm gonna take care. I'm gonna see. I mean, I'm gonna see what that mother talking about. I think I saw that before, though. I'm not Doctor Francis. I'm not messing with no Doctor Francis. Oh, Doctor Francis. You know, it's a person named Doctor Francis. I remember that name. Oh my goodness, this right here. Yeah. Yeah, I think I heard of that before though, Kobe, for sure. Uh 
Oh, what happened? Somebody hurt? Uh-oh, somebody hurt. Good. He needed knockout. Uh, oh, yeah, he said what again? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I agree with that. I think it's a little different, though, when you do it with, um, when you put it on your nose and you do it, it goes just straight to their brain, you know? But I'm definitely going to do that mug. Get, I'm going to hit that steam room. I got to. Cause my head, my head banging. Let's see how he got caught. Oh, that was a good uppercut. Oh, he wasn't hurt like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you, like I say, if you're just a person just to like, and if, but if you don't know boxing and you're watching boxing and you like punches or guys just throwing it, this ain't no bad fight. But if you somebody, you know, who like boxing, but you look, you like to see setups and chess, yeah, yeah, you gonna, you ain't going to like it like that. Somebody that's just there at the fights who just like to see action, they like this fight. It's an action fight. But somebody like to see skills with action, you know what I mean? They ain't gonna like to fight like me. Then again, too, though, when I'm commentating the fight, it's different than me just watching it, and I ain't gotta be actually commentating. Yo, Turbo on this boy. Yeah, we almost had 100,000. We close. I get SB to throw up a thousand, a couple of them videos. It's gonna definitely get there. That hundred thousand was hard to get though. When you almost there, that stuff ain't you know. I guess it ain't easy. You hear me, SB? You're looking for the last five minutes when you be at work, you be like, man, five minutes is taking an all day. I'm ready to go. I'm so happy this fight is almost over. This fight here, this is a hard fight to watch. And them 12 rounds took forever. <laughs> How much do you think I'm weight? I weigh SB. Oh, you 10 push ups, you can tell me. You can just, huh? No, you ain't even trying to guess, huh? Yeah, it's good for your breathing. It's actually open your lungs up, that nebulizer. I think the nebulizer just remind you of a steam room kind of. Now, now this last round, they stand in a, in a phone booth and they, they throwing shots. Man, somebody can go to the body real good and be to beat this guy. Bullshuck. Who is it? Whew, it's over with finally. So, Cope, you said steam is good, is good to inhale, but a mist is a thinner substance that travels deep into your airways. So, basically, for sinus, 
you saying that the um the um the nubilizer is, is better. Or for like opening your, your pores up, your your lungs, the um the nubilizer would be better. Oh, it's like a humidifier, you said. Uh, okay. I got you. Yeah, I need to get some humidifiers. Because, you know, you need to be that little mitts. You need to have them little mitts around this mug. It's supposed to be good for you. Kind of like water, you know what I'm saying? Just like water is good for you. All, all, all the way around. That uh, guy just throwing the um the Ukraine guy. Uh, he ain't doing numbers, just throwing punches. He ain't he he ain't setting nothing up. He just throwing punches. I been knocked that boy all the way out. In my career, he's he wouldn't last at all. Now, nubilizer does not highlight no steam. Heck, you know, if it was hot like that on your face, heck, you know, it didn't highlight steam. I know exactly what, what you know, what um he talking about. It's kind of like, it's, yeah, it's kind of like a misty spray. Yeah, but I know exactly what it is. I done saw it before. Yeah, I'm hip. Huh? Uh, oh, oh man, the Ukraine got one. By far. Yeah, he was by a lot of slack. Watch the numbers. The numbers going to tell you. Big time. Power shots, he threw 471 to 296. Um... And it's eight eight twenty two versus five oh eight. Even his percentage is better. Twenty seven percent. So that's right there to let you know. Oh man, that's just really, yeah, you can see who won easily. I wouldn't watch him like that either. I mean I'm looking at it, but I wasn't watching it. Is it is it a difference between looking and watching? I was looking at it, but I wasn't watching it. I can't say I was watching it, but I wasn't looking at it. I'm looking at it, but I wasn't watching it. I'm talking to my people on here. CM23, what's up, my dog? Yeah, Joe, it's well. He kept getting caught on that jar. Yeah, dude, it like a um, like a two fake, don't it? Oh, you see that one guy at Crisco um promoters right there? I think they call themselves K K two promotions or something like that. That guy jaw swole swole. Oh yeah, there you go. Man, it was hey, it's a good fight, man. Hey. You win some, you lose some, right, SB? Huh? They don't look as bad now as now they get showing it up close. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Yeah, yeah, you can tell it's swole. 
Not every day. It was just, you don't know if you saw it, but it was just, it was, it was noticeable. Oh, that boy got a silver belt. He got too many belts. How you become a silver champion? You can, you can give a guy a, 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 a sense, a fake sense of, you know what I mean, that you actually is a champion of the world and you get that belt right there. That like the regular belt, the real belt. And I got WBC belt and you look, I'd be like, oh yeah, he was WBC champ, that's the real belt. But that all it is is, is an interim champ. I can hear you. Exactly. That's the truth for real. That is so true. He said definitely hit the um hit the like hit the like button because they show not doing it. And again, uh, 73 ain't bad. So as we almost at the live, we almost live on the set. You get like 10 minutes before the actual main car will be on oh this guy talking about that oh man I do not know that right there language even Canelo know how to speak English now You know, he tells Canelo he's his daddy's son, him on um, to what? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Two hundred million dollars. They want to get to him two hundred million dollars. You know Canelo ducking a guy. They offer you two hundred million and you turn it down. Yeah, he do not. He done, as much as you like uh, Canelo, he definitely ducking that work when it comes to fighting Benavidez. Oh, uh, we ain't trying to hear that. We talk. We ain't trying to hear that one. Nah, we ain't trying to hit that one. We ain't trying to hit that one. Y'all know we ain't trying to hit that one. Oh, man. We, when you a fan, you a fan. <laughs> when you are a fan, you a fan. I mean, ain't ain't necessarily. Ain't necessarily. Ain't necessarily no. I ain't no hater. How am I a hater? To myself? I'm a hater. I ain't no hater. I ain't. That's just a fight. You know, he ain't trying to take for the. Why shouldn't he? <laughs> Are you gonna get knocked out? Well, at least you admitting that. Then that's just really, I ain't mad if a person admit that he gonna get knocked out. Then he ain't taking it because of that. I, and why? I, if I was him, I would say, "Look, bro, this young guy remind me a lot of myself." And at my age and where I'm going, I'm not about to step in the ring with somebody that remind me of me at a younger age and a lot bigger. Nah, no, let him fight these other guys. But as far as me. I'm going to make the best decision for me in my career and where I'm at right now. Now, if I was younger, yeah, I, I would definitely take the fight for, for what they try trying to give me. You got to remember that money they trying to give me for him, I could be able to get for somebody else. That, that's a lighter competition. So now if he said something like that, which it wouldn't be wrong to say something like that, I can respect that. But just to tell them, Telling them if he give me this amount of money, I'll take the fight. 
That's Cap. And I heard him say that. Okay, you want me to fight? You want me to fight uh, the baby Vinny V guys? Uh, give me, give me two hundred million dollars. I fight him. I wouldn't have said that. I would have been like, I'm not stepping nowhere near that man. That man remind me of a younger, a younger, bigger version of me. And you can't but respect that if he said that. I'd be like, that's that's he, that's real. I ain't never heard Floyd keep it one hundred on. on on somebody that's bigger than, that could be him or better than him or he just too old now. He would never say that. He always, man, he can't even be this and that. He can't just, no, just say, boy, my days are past me. You know, that's why, he, you know, he wanted to get, uh, well, I think it's a Crawford. Well, wh why don't Crawford fight Benavidez? Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why would he gonna tell? He gonna say, "Well, Crawford need to fight Benavidez because um, he Crawford don't got nowhere to go. Benavidez ain't got nowhere to go. So why don't they should fight each other? Why should Crawford fight him? And he's barely he's barely a welterweight. You know what I mean? I didn't think he was big enough to fight Errol Spence at welterweight. And now you want him to take on somebody that Canelo don't even want to take on at 168 pounds. He ain't even fought that during middleweight." He's definitely threatening his record. And then people start, yeah, his legacy, absolutely. And people are starting to say that he would beat Floyd in their prime. If they was in their both in their prime, he would beat Floyd. And Floyd don't want to hear that at all. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you ask, he's such a hater. You go to ask Floyd who are the best fighters, you know, that he think other than himself. He go to bringing up everybody's name, but guys that you know that that, that you know that they put his name towards him or, or next to his. He did not say Muhammad Ali. He did not say Great Robinson. And them are names you hear all day long on far who's the great who's the greatest. But you did not hear Floyd bring them guys' names up. His top ten pound for pound. It ain't Muhammad Ali. It ain't um. It ain't um. Shagray Robinson. It ain't Shagray Leonard. Nobody that you bring names up. That, that you know and match they names up with his name he ain't say none of them guys he say a lot of guys names that you that's good fighters but you you know you wouldn't bring they name up against floyd name like um that's my man's name um he ain't say no aaron Pryor. he said names like uh pernell whitaker i like pernell whitaker but you know you ain't about to bring pernell whitaker name up when you think of floyd name Unless you think about, oh, you talking about defense. You're not bringing his name up. Uh, who else name he bring up? He brought out Roberto Duran. But Roberto Duran got knocked out bad by Tommy Hearns. Then he ain't bring Tommy Hearns name up. Because a lot of people say Tommy Hearns would have played with um Floyd if they ever fought. Tommy would have knocked Floyd out. If you don't think Tommy would have knocked Floyd out at 147, then you definitely don't know boxing. He was just way too big. And like I always said, Floyd would have stayed in his weight class if he'd have been fighting the days where Bernard Duran and him was fighting. He would have never moved up. He moved up because he was able to. The competition wasn't like that. For real, for real. If you really want to be honest... Ooh. Oh, SB. SB, anyway, I could take a break real quick. All right. The Mexican G. Oh, yeah, I, I agree, Spider. You said Glo Gloyd. Gloyd said uh, Larry Holmes is one of the best. Gloyd. It had to be Gloy because it sure wasn't Floyd. I ain't hear him say that. Oh, he definitely, yep. Styles made fights. He might be on on, on paper, a better fighter than me on paper, uh, Mr. CM23. But yeah, style wise, 
And if I had hit that boy Mayweather with that right hook, he wasn't going to, unlike the fight Shane Mosley fight, he would not have recovered from that one. We ain't going to let you recover. I hurt you. I'm going to finish you. Yeah, Tommy, Tommy was too much for that boy there. Oh, man, Kobe Camp. You said who I think would have won. Between Aaron Pryor and Floyd? Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I, I, you, I plead the fifth. Yeah, Floyd would have stayed in his weight class, but you can't say the size advantage was, was was a big difference because think about it, the Mexican G. Floyd fought at 147. Tommy Hearns fought at 147. Yeah, that's the one I can't wait to see. Aroli versus Cruz. I'm glad Prime, um, you know what I'm saying, did business with um, PBC because I want to see boxing around forever, ever, ever. For as long as we on earth. Yeah, prior was a beast. Oh, yeah, the Mexican G, go do your homework. I ain't gonna say something I don't know this facts. Yeah, you gotta remember, shoot. You gotta remember. Floyd Floyd was a world champion at the same time I was. I fought at junior middleweight. So not only did Floyd fight in the same weight class that Tommy Hearns fought at, he fought in two different weight classes that Tommy Hearns fought at. Floyd fought, I mean Tommy fought at at, at welterweight and junior middleweight. Floyd fought at welterweight and junior middleweight. Hey, hey, SB, the Mexican G said, I'm, he said, no way that they, they fought in the same weight class. Hearns look what, much bigger. Yeah, they fought in the same weight class. Show sure enough. Yeah, I'm going to take a little break, y'all, so I'll be back. With the action in two and two at K9 Boxing. Stop it! All right, we on SB? Okay.
Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm back, y'all. Thank you for y'all patience. I'm glad y'all didn't go nowhere. Uh, Angelino Cordova is 18 and 0 with 12 knockouts. Let me rewind that. He's 18 and 0 with 12 knockouts. He's 28 years old, standing at 5 foot 4, and he weighs 118 pounds, okay? And so, and then this is the opener for the the main event card. Oh, uh, now his his trainer is Eddie Reynoso, so he got to be a good fighter. His name is Julio Cesar Martinez. He was twenty nine years old, standing at five foot three. Um. Oh, that boy say no boxing, no life. Mm, okay. Mm. 
And if you just not tapping in, make sure you follow me on Instagram at K9 Boxing. And if you want to help the channel, you can super chat. You can cash app. Dollar sign K9 Boxing. Yeah, two Mexicans fighting each other. Yeah, I'm a, I was, what's that called? Argentina? Argentina? Uh, rolling with the punches. I'm trying to figure out who rolling with the punches is. I think that's um rolling with the punches. Who is rolling with the punches? Because that sounds to me on uh, who this who I think this is. And we have Cordova versus Martinez. Now I'm trying to figure out which is which. Okay, so Martinez is the one with the black and gold shorts. And Cordova is a, is a, is a uh, fighter with the red and gold. The little guy, both these guys, well, especially the guy in the red and gold, he kind of reminds me of Pitbull Cruz, like his structure, style. No, he on his style is not Pitbull Cruz style. Pitbull Cruz is going forward. Oh, somebody gonna get knocked out? Yeah. And you know what? I can see both these little guys in there with um, Carmen Car Car Moten. Yeah, more than get both these guys. I really don't know what, what weight class is Moten because he had knocked both these guys out on the same day. And this for a WBC flyweight world title. So, yeah, he definitely couldn't um, fight either one of these guys because they probably had a smaller weight class because I know if he could, they would have put him in there ASAP. And Moten would be a world champion at 17. Oh, good left hook from Condova. Martinez is just walking slow. Oh, good uppercut from Condova. He's setting shots up. Did he come back with the right hand hook? Not Condova. He didn't get hit so hard. Oh, he didn't turn southpaw. Oh, my goodness. This will not go the distance, I can tell. And that boy Cordova got the uh, the rays on. I ain't saw the rays in a minute, I don't think. I've been seeing Everlast and I've been seeing Grant Gloves. But I ain't saw no rays in a minute. Man, they punching in slow motion to be so little. And normally when they little, they normally throwing punches and bunches. You hear me? And yeah, when y'all tap in, y'all make sure y'all whoop that trick. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at K9Boxing. But definitely subscribe to the channel. If you love boxing, subscribe to K9Boxing. And don't forget to hit the notifications. I don't think we got no super chats tonight. Huh? I did all go. I appreciate that. I didn't know. Okay. Well, that was nice.
Yeah, Martinez. We only in round two, so. I wouldn't expect it to be too many fireworks in round two. Man, my man Cadova's beating on um, Martinez to the punch. Every time he look up, it's bop, 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 and then he up out of there. Oh, moving and grooving and bop, 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 punching and then moving. Good. Both guys kept on combination. And Martinez is basically saying that ain't nothing, but you the one getting hit the most and hitting, getting, getting hit clean. Now, if we think he going to win a world title like that, he got another thing coming. He gonna probably have to catch uh, Cordova on the way out, and just like he just almost did with that right hand. And this is a a world title uh, fight. Now I don't know if one either guy is actually the champ of the world, or are both guys fighting for a vacant belt. Oh, um, uh, Martinez is not setting nothing up. He's just right there and just swinging. While the other fighter, Cordova, is actually trying to set some up. I don't. I, and I just wonder how do guys end up in in world championship position, looking the way they be looking sometimes. You know. Excuse me, but um, it is what it is. Hey, they did something right. But I guess they wouldn't be here, right? And do you go backwards when you become world champ? Of course not. But the way these guys are looking, maybe it's just because of the style. But like they're both going backwards instead of forward. Then again, I have to say last fight and I could actually judge it from there. But yeah, Martinez is just walking like he's just walking and throwing punches. If I knew Spanish, I could tell you exactly what the comment, what the um, the trainers are will be telling them right now, especially Martinez. I'll say Martinez, a uh, good good look. Um, SB said Martinez is a champ, so that's probably why he's walking around with his head up in the air and making all these showboating moves after he throws his punches. Yeah, we don't look like he's gonna be champ for long, not unless. Um, Canelo trainer is his manager then if it's close we already know where that's going which one okay Cordova Cordova is what uh, are you talking about the guys he fought 20, he 23 right The gas he fought records. The gas he fought. Oh wow! Yeah, he fought some serious bums. Um, th this guy Cadoza fought. Yeah, he fought guys zero and two, zero and four, zero and four, zero and five, two and eleven, zero and ten. Dang, they giving him opportunity for real. Yeah, he definitely ain't did that. Then zero and five. I mean, oh yeah, he he fought a whole bunch of bums. Oh, and I see why I could tell. That's how he got dropped with a jab just now. Because he ain't never fought nobody. Look, as soon as you said that, look what happened. He get knocked down with a jab. Same shot uh, Crawford caught um, Errol Spence with a jab. Now he's holding on for dear life. It was just a jab, bro. But that done sparked my man Martinez. And that's the reason why he was probably doing what he was doing. Oh, he got him with another jab. Another jab knocks him down. So it's a straight shot down the middle as he's kryptonite too. Yeah, that was, look, that was, now that jab was hard. Yeah, that jab was real hard. Now watch, he gonna knock him down with a jab again. He should be throwing a jab after that. Oh, he hurt bad. Yeah, he hurt bad. This ain't gonna go long. Oh, he showed Duck and up on under there, though. That was, his Duck game was real good. Oh, man. He, hey, listen. He, like, he in a pond, like, a, he ducking for real. 
Oh, but the other guy, listen, the other guy got the experience. That's why you don't fight bumps. As soon as you show me all them bumps before, well, look what happened. Oh, why don't Q? Ooh, but he did catch on um, Martinez with the right hook. Exactly. That's why you gotta watch him. This guy hit me with the elbow, and I think they did it on purpose. I'm throwing elbows back. And I'm oh, throwing elbows back. Oh, look, he back on him again. He on him like a K9 t shirt, y'all. Stop it. Uh oh. This is a good little fight. See, but let's see. Now, I don't mind seeing little guys fighting all reckless and crazy. They, you know what I mean? Why? But the big old guys are jamming it away down. Oh, um, oh, boy. They going at it, boy. I think he done knocked him out and woke him back up at the same time before he finished him. Man, it's getting real. Sure wouldn't. I would have never got that kind of a head. You think, man, come on. I had to be in position. They'll get somebody like that. They'll get somebody a title shot against me like that. But they won't give me no title shot like that. Yeah, they never had. SB know how they did us. They did us dirty. So you gonna keep it 100 on 100 on how we are. Our walk, you know what I mean, in the boxing game was not nothing nice. Our sprint, you can call it what you want to call it. They ain't give us nothing. Man, they let guys fight guys with tennis shoes on to be able to fight for our, our belt. Yeah, it, it was crazy. Yeah. Of course, it knocked him down. Look, ooh. Uh-huh. Real stiff. I hate the way they force you to watch commercials. Boom. Ooh, real stiff. Both of them were stiff. Ooh, another knockdown with a jab. A knockdown, knockdown. I don't care if it's off balance or not. It's still a knockdown. Yeah. Oh. Kodoa, Kodoa got hurt, though. At the end of the day, though, when you beating these guys, though, SB, you still going to think you might have a sense of security, a sense of, a sense of uh, what's the word, SB? A false sense of Ooh, belief and that you really that kind of guy. How about that? And that's how you probably got knocked down with them two jabs. You know what I mean? But reality has kicked in. Now, now you know, okay, I am in a fight, a real fight. Yeah, it didn't get real, real. Yeah, no wonder my man Martinez was acting the way he was acting. He, he a real, he the champ of the world. And he been in there. Yeah, he been in there. You don't become champ of the world, he ain't been in there. Before we became champ of the world, we had been in there. You know what I mean, why? And again, lost fights, won fights. You know what I mean? We done been in there for real. We was on reality shows, boy. We paid our dues. It's crazy how people jealous of us of the hard road we took to get it. I, I know. Shame on you. And it's getting real. Oh, good hook. Both guys came back with check hooks. Condola, he definitely growing up, boy. He, yeah, he growing up right before our eyes. And the, and the opponents that he been facing to get to this point. Somebody like him. A lot I'm talking about in the sport of boxing. Give him this opportunity. I'm trying to figure out who corner was um the Reynosis guy was in. Was it Mark? Oh Martinez, okay. Well from the way the way Martinez is fighting, 
I don't know. I you know I don't know what's so spectacular about Ray Nosen's like. You know what I mean? I think he just was blessed with a a, a great fighter and Canelo because all I ever see him doing is he had that little thing, a little punching bag that he hold up for Canelo just to hit. Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, I don't, I don't put no respect on his name. <laughs> His opponent's been losing back to back to back, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Hey, 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 that's the truth. It is the truth. Yeah, till you could, till you could show me, till you could take another guy from the ground up and make and make him makes him something. You know, not just one person. You know what I mean? Because. You could be blessed with somebody with serious talent. Oh, she's like a little girl compared to him right now. She looks, she looks, she not even coming to his shoulders. Yeah, she look, see that? She is tall though, but she ain't even coming to his shoulders. They showing Tim Kazoo. I don't trust a lot of them foreign fighters. Like, to go fight a foreign fighter in his backyard, off TV is dangerous. I think them guys be definitely be be juicing like a mug. Yeah, I don't trust them guys. I don't want to take nothing away from they, you know, they wins. But going to go see them overseas. And they home, in their country, Psh, man. You better watch the gloves. You better watch everything. Watch the water they drinking. Make sure they drinking water in between rounds. Oh boy, they going back and forth, rock them, sock them. Oh, I think the best chance that um, uh, Cordoba got is to, is to sit there and trade with him. And that's what Martinez is telling him. Come on, that's what I want to do. It's like, like, fight. Me like, fight, fight. And when they started trading, boy, I'm telling you, it was something different. Uh-oh, like the Batman scene when my man Kevin Sanderson had his music going, do, 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 and Batman went into the ring. Oh, well, he went into his fight like he was going into the ring. He went out there and got down. Oh, that left hook was something different. Oh, I think he might be hurt. That boy Cordova is hurt. Oh, yeah, he hurt. Uh-oh. How long? Not long. He one punch away. He holds for on for his life. There's levels to this boy. That's why one guy champ and other, the other guy is contender. Can he survive, though? Good way to hold. That's right. Make the referee do your job. That's why fighters need to learn, you know what I mean, how to slide back. When a guy try to grab you, slide back. Don't be getting mad because he holding. What are he supposed to do when he hurt? You just, just say hit me in the jaw, finish me off? No. He's supposed to do whatever it takes to survive. And it's up to you if to hurt him to make sure he don't survive. And I know it's easier said than done. You got to work on that kind of stuff. And um, that's why I work with my fighters today. We's working on what to do and what not to do in certain situations. It's a good opener for the uh, main card. Real good opener. A lot better than that Doze, uh, Doze, Mendoza fight. Because you can see some real clear punches. Clear punches. Clean shots. Oh yeah, Laura. Yeah, I never like to see Laura fight. Pitbull knocking him out. Ooh, we gonna find out with Laura fight next, so. Yeah. Only time will tell. Uh, boxing show five. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a pretty, it has been a pretty nice car so far. I agree with you, uh, AC, Andrew Charles. But you never know, hey, Laura, when you start getting older, you be forced to do stuff you normally know used to do. And boxing skills might have changed. He might not have them legs no more like he used to have them. (sighs) 
Yeah, I, I, I can't wait to see that um, Pitbull Cruz fight. So what, he the co-main event? Yeah, they should, man. That's going to be a good one. You think he going to beat Roley and take Roley belt? Or you think it'll be too little? Oh, that's that's good um, analysis. Oh, that was a good little hook. Oh. Huh? Okay. Okay. He know how to get up under you. They'll tell you. Um, man, Pitbull Cruz, he, he can get up under you. He know how to get up under you for real. He get all the way up in your chest. And I, I don't think, I think you know, Roley need distance. And he don't throw no punches even when he at distance. So I just think he going, you know. Fold upon the pressure. Huh? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I think Pitbull going to stop him. Yeah. Roley got some one-punch power, but he throw one punch. Pitbull Cruz, you ain't going to hit him with no one punch. He going to be getting abundant in all them shots. You got you to gotta throw multiple punches and set it up. Yeah, Pitbull Cruz, boy, he hey, that's a bad little guy. Yeah. I would like to see Pitbull Cruz against um Ryan Garcia. That, that's who Ryan Garcia's been trying to fight. He little too. Ryan Garcia should have been trying to fight that guy. Cause the style he got, he can jab and move and then grab. That'd have been a good comeback fight to beat somebody like and he could say um, Tank lost to him. I beat him. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. He beat Tank, but I beat him. That'd have been a good fight for uh, Roley. I mean, for um, Ryan Garcia. Cause he's so little. So Ryan Garcia would have been able to been able to take you know his pressure and his size, and then he'd have learned how to deal with the pressure. You know what I mean? That'd have been a good fight for him. Real good fight for him. Is that bird right there, SB? The um, the um, judge bird, the black guy right there. You heard again? Oh, what a referee! These referees be some of the worst referees I saw in my life. When a guy got their back turned, you can't rely on a person just hearing you say, "Hey, hey, hey, stop!" You got to physically be there to stop him. If not, he gonna hit the hit the fighter behind the head, and you that is supposed to be there to protect the fighters. And if the fighter get hit in the back of the head because you didn't get there, you're not protecting the fighters. And you, uh, a referee, should be punished for that too. Because you, why are you in there if you're not doing, gonna do your job? They want you to listen to my commands. Yeah, yeah, if I don't listen to your commands, you got to make sure that, you know what I mean, I don't get caught or if I don't catch the next guy. Because I'm off what I see and what I've been doing. I'm just here to fight. And I might hit you after the bell because my mind is on trying to get that shot off. Like, just not, thank you, just hit the guy after the bell. And now the referee want to warn him, but you know, his damage is already done. You know, it's already done. It's like when um Oba Carr got rocked by Felix Trinidad after the bell. The referee gave Trinidad a warning and was mad at him, but damage had already been done. Yeah, this is Orlando, I think Romero, Orlando Romero won her. He got like something wrong with him. He be, he used to be acting like something really be wrong with him. He be saying some stuff, man, and be serious about what he be saying. Like some some no knowledge, a lot of uh, narrow is not together. Francisco, what up, though? I agree, Mister Twenty Three. Yeah, Ryan Garcia definitely should have fought Pitbull before Devin Haney. I, I agree. It's an easier fight. So much bigger than Pitbull. Pitbull a little bitty guy. 
You're going to be able to deal with that much better than you're going to deal with Devin because Devin is a lot bigger too. Even though Devin don't got a lot of, you know, a lot of power. Or well, he don't fight with power, but the better, as, as Devin get better and better, he's going to start getting some knockout swats because he's getting better. Oh, good hook. These boys are playing rock 'em sock 'em. They hitting each other. Oh, man, back and forth. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at K9 Boxing. Oh, my goodness. Good job from both guys. Good one, two from the champ, Martinez. Double jab for Cordova. Right hand, left hook from Cordova. For Martinez to be a, a, a champion, he get hit a lot. You know, he need to go work on his defense. You're going to cl keep climbing the ladder and fighting the best that's out here. You got to tighten up on your defense. Because if he had the same weight class anyway, anyway, it snaps that belt too quick. You know what I mean? Why? You hear me? Yeah. I said, anyway, I snatch this belt if they're in the same weight class. Ain't too easy. That boy, that boy, anyway, is something special. I still got a, I still got a pound with pound, the best fighter in the world. He just don't get you know, a lot of eyeballs because he's fighting his own country somewhere. And it be at, you know, 8 o'clock in the morning. Cats be asleep. Yeah, yeah, you bring him to Vegas and the whole world will be able to see him. But just to see him on, you know, highlights, people still ain't even watching highlights because they don't know nothing about him. See, Crawford, Crawford, they know Crawford. Crawford don't fought Errol Spence. Crawford don't fought on top rank on uh, ESPN with eyeballs on top of eyeballs. It's, big, it's a big difference. Oh, man, don't forget to hit the like button when you boys tap in. Or you girls tap in, too, you know, because a couple of females probably tap in that like boxing. Round seven. Man, they could have just scratched the uh, lower fight because I hope it's an action fight, you know what I mean? Because well, that guy will put me to sleep. Well, not literally, but just some time out. Fiercely watching this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, exactly. Yeah, I had to really think about that. Because at one point in time, he did want to fight me. That boy got all them little sponsors on his jacket. Y'all supposed to have me like that, SB. Y'all supposed to have me lined up with sponsors. Maybe shoot, that contender was enough. That was more known than what he doing. That contender at that at that time. No, I'm talking about after the contender, we should have had that. But you know, we yeah, we wasn't into that. We ain't know about all that. You start learning, you know, as the time go by, you learn more and more and more. And that's a good thing to to keep learning. Are you speaking English? Okay. Oh no, she 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 interpreted. Don't take our USA dollars if you can't speak USA terms or talk English. USA stands for English. USA. Oh, good combos. They put it all on the line right now. In round eight. Oh, Cordova trying to take something from that boy. How you going to get the belt if you don't take it? Oh, that boy Cordova trying to take the belt. Uh-oh. Oh, and he got Martinez cut. Martinez cut. He's bleeding out the right eye. Oh, and he keep getting hit with more combinations. Oh, man, that's how Cordova going to get the belt. He got to go take it. They ain't giving you nothing. You down, boy. You done got knocked down twice in one round. Stop it. You got to get that back, big fella. Oh, but good combination. Some done got it. Some got into that boy. And on the unofficial scorecards, Joe Goosen has him down. Cordova, 69-62. He said they only, he only won one round. And 
That was round one. But he definitely went in this one too. So it, it'll be round two. It'll be two rounds. Round eight so far, Cordova winning. Yeah, he must know it's now or never. And I see, I think that's Joe Bird. He's telling somebody that the man is cut the right eye. Oh man, it's something dirty, um, boy. Uh, judges out here. How am I knocking guys down almost every round? And I'm down on the scorecards. These dirty judges be getting paid off. Round eight, 52 seconds left. All Cordova. Martinez desperate. He just swung for the fences. Oh, and then Cordova, he throwing bolos. No, he doing Ali shuffles and everything. That boy starting to have some confidence. Why He should have had this six, seven rounds ago. Because if you don't knock your opponent out, then what? And he ain't he that made that boy Martinez mad. Martinez ain't gonna forget all that showboat you did and then Ali Shuffle and all that. Trust me, he ain't gonna forget that. Don't try to be his friend, nah. When showboat goes wrong, that's what we gonna hey, we gonna do that video, SB. We're gonna go to round eight if if he showboat and get caught. Oh yeah, he just got caught with one. Okay. Yeah, he bloody. He he bloody, and you would think if you if you just tapped in, you would think he was the one that was losing. He actually won win the one that's winning. As I told you, he boloed that boy, and then he did Ali shuffle right in front of him, and he didn't want losing. He didn't want losing. Did all that and losing. <laughs> Hey, but I like it though. Hey, I like the fact that hey, that lets you know he having fun, even though he losing, he having fun in there. But I'm about to, I'm not about to do all that, and I'm losing. And I'm I'm, 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 not, I'm not about to do all that, and I don't got no power. It sure who did? <laughs> you ain't lying. That boy said I'm about to get take the biggest purse I've ever made in my life. Especially where he from, his country, the kind of money he might get tonight, boy, he, in his country, he rich. Or that kind of money. I, I remember the young guy, Wanna, the, you know, the little young guys, the little African guys, you know, they they won't be getting a lot of money either in their countries. But he over here in America, now nah, he going to tell me a number. I should train him for a certain amount. It was real low. He said, you know, you, you know, I, I can afford you. You take this out. I said, no, nah, I'm not taking that. I even went down, you know what I mean, just trying to help him. He told me that he get paid um, a one SB ten dollars an hour. I said, I don't know what you working at, but yeah, you definitely, you know what I'm saying. You need to quit that job quick, cause the minimum wage is, is ain't minimum wage about fourteen, fifteen, sixteen dollars an hour, huh? huh? But. Yes, I'm talking about. So he came to me with that. I told him, man, basically, I never train you for that for that amount that he's talking about for a whole hour. Oh my goodness, you can forget about it. Round nine, boy. This is definitely the hardest live I've had to do in my life because you know having a head cold. It's not easy. And on top of our at the rhythm is not up. Okay, so the minimum wage is about to be twenty dollars in California. Why is this guy telling me he getting paid ten dollars an hour? And he in America, he in America ain't like he over over, you know, where he from. In his country, he over here. So yeah, yeah. I told I told him I save your money up, then get with me. Yeah, ain't no rush. 
you ain't about to get over on me and just think you could do what you I set the prices like whatever whenever you doing something it's on you and it's your business you set the prices for whatever your business is if you want to get somebody some action you give them some action but on your dime not on their dime this is your time I mean, these guys, you trip me out. They think you're going to train them the way you want them to train them. No, no, I'm your trainer. I'm going to train you the way I feel like you need to train on what I see. I done had fighters like that before. Coach, I want to work on this. Man, it's over. You might go find you a new trainer. This is what you need to work on. I don't think you're good enough. You don't got the experience to be telling me what you need to be working on. I I had a fighter a a S B I had a fighter tell me, you know what I mean that you know, where his people's, you know let me let them think when you get in there. Man, I'm not about to let let you think. I'm gonna tell you what I want to tell you, whenever I want to tell you, when you get in that ring. Gonna tell me how to train you. Tell you, bro, you good? What up though? All right, all right, little airy. About, I see. Look, you see them crunk hair, hair um pads. Bet you they love to see that boy. Uh huh. Yeah. Boy. And he ain't say about to be one. He said minimum wage is. Oh, yeah, it is about to be. you right. Show this. <laughs> it didn't look like it's, it, didn't, it didn't look that way. She just put me in my place real quick, y'all. I thought I was about to say something that was. <laughs> something that was the way I looked like it was. Hey, but Cadova ain't doing bad, you know. The fact that he done, he done faced a bunch of bumps, he is hanging in there. You know what I mean? With a world champion who hasn't put him down. And whether it was a headbutt or not, it looked good on, on paper that he had the guy bleeding like a zombie. So he looking like he winning, huh? Taking around with it, exactly. Just don't get your jaw broke. And don't let yourself down. Yeah, let yourself, you know, get caught up in the last couple rounds. Yeah, especially after getting knocked down a couple of times. So, it's not a good look for this young boy. Oh, man, I am definitely trying to get well. And the crazy part about it is I look like I'm, 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 I'm okay. But my head, I'll tell you, my head, I can feel it in the back of my head that there's something going on up there. And it's just that, that change in the weather. That weather in Michigan is different now. Them people be polluting that air. Them little jets be, uh, be having them chemtrails in the air. You can't trust them, man. The, the, the world is, when I say the world, I'm talking about the government. They some evil people. They real evil, man. They giving these kids all these shots and all these vaccines and stuff. A kid don't, don't, don't need no vaccines, you know. They God going to, you know, create babies and kids and they gonna have to need to be able to get have to get some vaccines. When they come in this world, they okay. God created them. They don't need no shots. That stuff be shutting their body down. They body, a little bitty body can't take that. Vaccines, you know? Evil people. I tell you, I hate the world. The evil part of the world. All right, the people that's in the world, you know what I mean? The, you know, people on the live. Cool people, but I'm talking about the people that's like running the world, the government, are oh, some evil people. Yeah, they evil. Dang, I hate all when I hate when fighters be getting head and stuff. They making the fighters look real, real bad. All these head and stuff. Yeah, they say you gotta move your head side to side. He getting beat up with hair bunts and cuts and, and elbows and stuff. Dirty guy. Dang, that's dirty. Who 
Ooh, that guy bleeding like a zombie. I hate to see all that blood. Like he didn't get cut with a um, a knife. Like it took, the man took a knife and just split his eyeball, his um, his uh, eyebrow open. Oh, it's leaking. I just think that MMA MMA crowds are so crazy because they all they want to see is blood. They want to see you just get choked out and slammed on your head. I'm the opposite. I don't want to see that. Even though I'm a boxer, I really want to see good skills. And if it happened to be where the guy bleeding like that off what I do to him, man, it is what it is, and it's a part of the sport, but that ain't my overall, that ain't overall what I want to see. Oh, and that is real obvious, Mr. 23. He need that like never before. Hey, he need that like peanut butter need jelly. I'm telling you, because peanut butter will not taste good on a sandwich without no jelly. At all. They're going to show the hair, but oh, there it go. I missed it. Oh, here it go. Bam. Ooh, straight to the head. Right in the eye. Right in the eyebrow. All uh, right. Radiolo. Radillo. Radio. Radilio. 12. It's getting, it's getting bad. It's nasty. I don't want to see that. They got the nerve to show it up close, too. Yeah, huh? Oh, man. Exactly. Man, just skip past this next fight. Oh. Yeah, oh. Like, he might be hurting on here. He didn't get mad. Because it meant... Oh. They be drinking blood for real? They some nasty people. They say... Dang. Dang, Catholics drink blood. Yeah, and the guy said don't drink no blood. He said make sure you cook all the blood out of the food. Because that's the life of the, of the animal. Yeah, so, for, so, so if Catholics drink blood, it's not a good look. That's bad. And it's not biblical at all. Think that. Think about that. What up, bub? You make sure you hit the like too, champ. And follow me on Instagram at K9 Boxing. This one I met, y'all. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Yeah, we, we just uh, ramming up and getting ready for the Mike Tyson versus uh, Jake Paul. Yeah, we were getting ready for that. And who else? SB? Oh, Tank Davis versus, um, um, oh, Frank Martin. Okay, okay. And we're getting ready for Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. It's crazy though, because man, they, I hope I hope they don't have to pay for pay sixty nine ninety nine for no more cars like this one. I will make up for it. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna tell you the truth. It's Roly versus um, Pitbull Cruz. That kind of you know what I mean. You gotta have two fights, two good fights when you got. You know what I mean? Um, on on um, a uh, fighter, you know, as the main event in Tim Kazoo. Tim Kazoo, he good, but I don't know if he pay per view um worthy. You agree? Uh -huh. You agree? You agree? Tim Kazoo really not uh, like pay pay per view worthy right now. Nah, he ain't he ain't beat nobody yet. Now nah, I fight with him and Terence Crawford to be pay per view worthy. But not with no late late minute replacement, and not with no Keith Thurman. Do you know that him and Keith Thurman was about to be a pay per view? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Keith Thurman ain't fought in years, and he about to be the main event for a world title on pay per view. Stop it! Yeah, my rhythm is definitely off. 
काफी Yes, it's crazy to be going on out here. Good, it's the final round. And that's good. Glad. I want this. That's right, Eric. Oh, yeah, it's, it's crazy out here, boy. Real crazy. They're not protecting kids at all. Kids ain't protected. Women ain't protected. Men ain't protected. You know what I mean? It's, uh, countries ain't protected. Uh, ain't they doing Israel Bowl over there, going to war and doing all kind of stuff with them over there? I don't know exactly what's going on over there, but I heard it ain't nothing good. I went on live the other day, and somebody that's that's, that's taking up for a whole another country. I'm thinking this, you know, that you know I should speak on that country and not knowing that country is the one that's doing bad. So yeah, it's you know, I know the Bible says be careful that you don't call good good uh good when it, when good ain't good it's evil. And then evil good and good evil. But if you don't pay attention, you you ain't gonna know. Man, I'm glad I'm glad this fight I'm on so way because you know it's sad when when two guys can't punch and they forced to have to keep hitting each other for the entertainment of, of the crowd and to get their money. And these be both these guys go go home with headaches for days. And a lot of times the little guys don't make as much money as the bigger guys. Well, it used to be like that. Not nowadays, boy. It, it, the game done changed. No matter what size you is, if you if you got a draw, or you putting butts in the seats, you're going to make you some money. Ten seconds left. And Cordoga, you know, he can have his head high because he gave it all he had. He throwing his hands up in the air like he won a fight. If you looked at both their faces, you would think he won a fight, but no, nah, you didn't win, buddy. You had a couple of showboat rounds, and that was it. But you did not win. And your trainer, Arnosis, uh Canelo trainer, need to work on more than, than what he's working on with you, because you look terrible. And Mr. Snivel Lupa Pegas. Oh, his last name for Dora. Yeah, it is. One sight. This there to make a guy look good, but to give him some rounds. Oh, boy. Oh, shall you? Definitely, y'all need to thank SB big time because um, she put this lie together. And she just said, let's pass on this one. I would have told her, thumbs up.
I owe you, you owe me this one? Oh, no. I should have took, <laughs> took this one. I should have took another one. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I picked the wrong one. Oh, no. You got over on me. Look, as B, them tell you, them, them women slick, boy. They they slick. She, she did me. She she admitting it to on live. Like basically, I played you, son. She telling the whole live. I played you, son. Wow. Ooh. Uh, oh yeah, facts. That's facts, champ. Rewind that. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh man, yeah, but it might be over with though, uh, Mr. Twenty Three. Yeah, shout out to the champ wife SB. Appreciate that one. Yeah, man, it, it's hard. So some guys, it's hard to be their trainer because when you know, hey. When they're so accustomed to doing something over and over and over again, it's hard to change a fighter that's just, you know, got bad habits. Yeah. I'm telling you. You've been doing something for so long, hey. You're going to keep doing it. That's why I put making this chess move. What this guy, these guys think they rap on WrestleMania 2 or something? This guy making his chest move like he on WrestleMania. Like, man, if he don't quit doing all that. And the crowd be so stupid acting sometimes. They just a boo. Both guys. Watch they boo. I mean, how could you doubt who won? It was, it was a no-brainer. And a majority of the decision, what does that mean? That one judge had the other guy winning? Oh, why? Huh? I don't watch it, though. Majority decision mean they had one guy win, other guy winning? Oh, that's what Yeah. Oh, I don't. But I asked you a question, yeah. though. Okay. Wow, that's dumb. That that judge needs to be fired. He must have got paid off. I bet you that was Patrick Bird who had the other guy winning. Yeah, that's what happened here. Remember they had a, had had me losing a majority decision? Then all of a sudden somebody went back and changed it or something? Or they tried to change it? Yeah, they, it's a dirty game. Let him go fix him. Let somebody go get him some stitches. He don't need to do no interviews or none of that. Go get him some stitches. Stitches out. I wouldn't have nothing to say right now. I'd be like, hey... Peace and love. But if I need stitches, let me get them these stitches put put together. Or at least put some grease on it. They ain't even put no grease on it. But then again, maybe they did. <laughs> Tim is worthy, but not against Fedora. Okay, I got you. I'm, I'm thinking your last name is Fedora. I know I'm tired. Oh, I got a long way to go. This right here is that lemon strawberry lemonade. High press process. Pros, what? What? Processed. Pros, no GMO. Save milligrams of potassium. Oh, for that, I want to see the main event or the inner. I can't wait for the main event, and I can't wait for the um, co-main event. This next fight, now that boy Laura still in the game? That's unbelievable, why? Huh? I said, Laura still in the game. I said, that's unbelievable. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, you know what? I didn't even grab my, my, um, my other drink.
Ooh, definitely gonna have to take me a break, SB. I'm gonna have to take me a, um, a bathroom break. They get all these 12 round fights. I don't, man, this, listen, they need to skip one of these 12 round fights. I don't, look, uh, Isaac Cruz and Romero, Roly Romero, that's cool. Tim Kazoo and Sylvester Fandora. But Eric Sinaran through Laura? Oh, no, we don't need to see that 12 round fight. We talking about potentially 36 rounds that might be happening in the next three fights. Hey, champ, can I go? Um, oh, I'm going to take that break in one second, okay? Let me drink the rest of this right here, juice. Y'all said so let me drink. Huh? No, no, I'm going to drink a little bit of this juice first. Laura been around a long time, boy. Hey, man, me neither. They let Jamal Charlo hold him and just sit on the belt. He didn't want to sleep with the belt. He didn't went to a whole other country. He didn't went to jail. He didn't came back. They used to the time of the world. I don't know. You right. I'm telling you, he must be keen. Some, some is in the game. They got the 40 plus. They cheating. They got 40 plus years old champions. They ain't got me on there. They got Pacquiao on there. They dirty. <laughs> Did not win a world title at 41? Haters. Pacquiao on there though, right? Danny Garcia still spending that money. He ain't pressed to get there. He hit he hit him when they when they was when they when PBC was putting that money out here, they hit him, he hit him hard. Yeah, the next fight is gonna be um Laura, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. How is you about to fight at 160? What you been doing? Not not training? Because remember, he's like, well, kind of like a big little guy. Even though he's 5'9", he came from 140. You know what I mean? Why? So, huh? Yeah, he ain't been fighting, so he could probably come in 160 because he ain't, he ain't get a chance to pick who you want to fight. He trying to fight just for a flat out belt. Yeah, you know, all you know how to do is fight, but you don't fight. You fight once every four, five years. So I don't know what he talking about. Oh no, yeah, we gonna definitely get. Um, I think in two fights we gonna get KOs. The last two fights, this fight I hope we get a KO. We need one bad because I do not wanna be covering this next fight. I don't at all. TVJ, what up though, big fella? Ooh. Oh man! Are you want? Some, oh, you don't like this uh, lemonade, do you? Uh, it's just making my stomach hurt now. And look all this much time they got, wanna? Even though the fight went the distance, they still got nothing but a lot of time to be talking to these fighters and stuff. You know, it's some stuff in the game. That's true. Exactly. 
Yeah, exactly. Right. And if you go past that time, he might, he might charge you a certain amount. They ain't gonna play with that money up like that. So yeah, I'm ready to go ahead and um, go in and go get that real quick. That's champ. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready now. Oh, it's a good chair. Hey, he said his chair, chair look comfortable. Boy, it is. The big boy seat. You hear me? Yeah, I see you in one second. Don't go nowhere. Stop it.
Gas him up, 2K. 2K. Beat man. We back to action. Okay, good. We back to action, y'all. Oh yeah, Laura still got the skills. So you can you can definitely t tell by like, like his little stance and how he's making this little shot so easy to land against the rifle. This guy name is a rifle. He got one one side of his body tapped all the way up, but then again, he got both. Sides of his body tatted all the way up. Yeah, so. And even though Laura, you know, might might have slowed down a little bit, you wouldn't be able to tell because the experience that he has. And you know, he might yeah, he might be sharp enough to get a knockout. Uh, we about to find out. Huh? Can't hear you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just hope there ain't no head bucks. I've been seeing too many of them already. So, good little jab from um, Aris Landalara with his nasty, ugly style. You got a real good counter jab. These right here fire right here. Man. You ever had you had some of these before, SB? Huh? You have some yet though? Okay. Oh my goodness. Come on, fire. I mean, don't get greedy, so bring them boys back. Yeah, they fire. That boy got his name to say pretty boy on that boy. Ooh. I think I thank God getting through this live cause it is not easy, y'all. Ryan Sharp, what up though? No, they ain't fought yet, bub. I will, yeah, you can see on the, on the screen. I've been good Friday. Yeah, these right here, healthy and on fire. Can you see them? Healthy and on fire. Roasted pumpkin seeds with the sauce vinegar. How it taste? Yeah, see? 
Even SB said they are real good. She nervous. You could tell a lot of times. You could tell. You don't know if a person know boxing like that. They be too quiet. They be very concerned. They have a concerned look. I don't know, my wife started understanding boxing. She wasn't. She ain't had a concerned look. She was have confident with my uh, my ability because she knew I knew my stuff. I really want to get back to where I was so bad just so I could at least be sparring like I used to spar. It'd be so hard, but when you be on the outside looking in, it's hard. Talk all you want to about, oh, man, I'm going to get back in there. I'm going to do one more fight, man. That mess round never happened because you can't get up. Oh, you got one? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I, I shouldn't even share them. Huh? Look, here you go. I can't be sharing them. Just don't you hey, you know what should me out? Person be like, you want something? And they know they, they be happy you be saying, no. You know you really be wanting some. Hey, you know you saying, no. Oh, yeah, 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 Man, I think this girl done found her home. Dang, you took a lot. Let me see what you got. Wow. Man, please don't. Cause she took a, man, look, see this small bag right here? She took a whole handful. You know when you get this bag like this, you know they don't give you nothing. They give you about this much in it, that much in it. Let them protect potato chip bags be half empty. More than half empty, but a bunch of air in it. Boy, I told you it's a crooked world. Real crooked. I don't, the first round? I don't know. It's hard to say it win the first round because Laura, Laura be boxing, the other guy coming forward. But I think Laura landed a cleaner shot, so he, clean, he ain't throwing as, as much. But he landed cleaner shots. So I get lower the first round. And so far, I get him second round because he landed cleaner shots. And the other guy trying for the hard shots, but they're not landing. And that's probably where her, um, that's probably where his sister's so concerned. She know her brother finna fight for a world title. Yeah, he tough, but I think he's going to get stopped. I think Laura going to stop him. He don't look good at all. But then for the sister's sake, I, hope, I kind of hope he don't get stopped. But then for the me feeling the way I feel sake, I kind of hope, I hope you know, Laura get it out the way. But it's going to be what it's going to be. Oh, I told you it's over. Stop. It. She, he done knocked that boy out already. Oh man, he's real hurt, hurt. That left hand, he ain't. Oh, oh, he can't even hold his hold his own. Oh, no wonder his sister was so concerned. She knew it. She like my brother ain't even built like that. Look, now she she putting her hands together. And, that's boy. It's so to show her like why you showing her dirty. They gonna show. Oh my goodness. He gonna show his sister like well, get the camera off me. I sure she she knew he was gonna lose like that. She could have put the camera up and hit her face from jump run from from soon as the bell went ding. So if we do lose, uh uh, y'all don't have to even come right here. I'm letting y'all know ahead of time. Don't even come here. But did not call it though, SB. I called it. Yeah, Lord, Lord see you ain't on his on his level. He'll get you, but out of there. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Are you standing right there in front of him? Oh, he gonna get you out of there. Spectacular. 
Oh, he never seen it. You can't stand in front of there with that boy. Man, yeah, he's standing right there in front of him, man. He loves you standing in front of him. Look, there, and bam, it was a little delay. That delay, he got so much on it because he delayed him. Man, he got one eye open, one eye half shut. Look at this. Watch the blind. Boop, bam. Everything on it. He watched him for it. Then he got up like I'm okay and boom, he back stacked all the way to the back. That's true. ASAP. And he he a son of him because he's the son of when they used to be um teammates. Yeah, I don't think Jamal want to see no um Arisalani Lara. That's big bro. Somebody said you're still a young man. It depends on what you're talking about. <laughs> if you're talking about boxing, stop it. If you talking about, hey, SB, no. I'm a young man in SB. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's a good look right there. New JMO. So he watched them, Kate, them Corey, Corey Spinks clips. Man, all airbags, bub. I'm trying to tell you something. <sighs> yeah, put them, man, put them boys in there right away. We don't need to be waiting all day. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. They trying to get him to go in for the knockout. They showing Pitbull Cruz. Well, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know Pitbull Cruz better be slipping and sliding like he normally do and bobbing and weaving. Because if he stay out there to just, to, you know, keep his head out there, even though he's short, he's going to get caught with one. He better keep getting up under. You do that, he's going to be okay. But if he sit there and just be up in the air, it's going to be a bad boy. I would not be in front in that ring getting caught the way he got caught. I'd have been left. I don't need my face to be seen after that one. Yeah, they need to put Charlo in there with him. He was not lying about that one. That boy, seventy-seven years old, and still got it. Laura up in age and he's still around, boy. Oh, that was nasty. He never saw it. Wound, wham. He never saw the other one. The other one was a wound, wham. Wow. That boy was hurt. What's up, Donald? Good work earlier, big fella. Shoot, I don't know. He got a he a. What chance does Fedora have? We don't know if Fedora gonna show up. Fedora last fight he got knocked out, so I do not know. It's showing Eric Lenny Lowe taking pictures and, and, and writing in, um, autographs for the fans. That's always a good look. Boxers, I think boxers are some of the humble, humble people in the world. Some of them, probably even most of them. Hey, I don't know. Uh, I see um, Wine Sharp said, what happened to the broadcast? Um, 
Oh, my king I definitely had to be at that one to the, to take a break. Good. Man, Pitbull Crew. SB. I gotta take a small break again. Man, come on, man. I, I definitely need to take one. Oh. Now, this finally is going to get to where I wanted to be at. But, shoot, Laura did way better than I thought. Hey. But then again, shoot, I, I started seeing what was going on. But not. We got Pitbull Cruz, <clears throat> Rolly Romero. This is definitely. <coughs> A great fight on paper. <clears throat> oh man. These peanuts right here taste good. Salt and vinegar. Oh man, he did he did uh Gamboa something bad. Oh uh, it's twenty this twenty grams of protein, SB you hear me? Four grams of fiber. I like that little pit bull mask he got. He got a nice little pit bull mask. Cold. Oh, I can't wait till they get in the ring. That boy about to come in the ring. Sam Samai. What up, though? Yeah. This is a great fight right here. Pitbull. I got Pitbull Cruz winning this one. I need my Mexican, my, my Sabero for this one. Now, this is going to be a good one. Isaac Cruz 25 and 2. To take that one loss off his record, he beat um, Tank Davis. Uh, Rose Romero, oh, that one loss came from Tank Davis. So both of them faced, both of them faced Tank Davis. And I think Cruz beat him. And yeah, we already saw what happened to Rose against Tank. Stop it! Hey, put your money where your mouth is, big fella, as they say. Domestic G. Out. Right. Bet. 50 push-ups. I got 50 push-ups. Isaac Cruz wins. Yeah. Yeah, he got four inches on um, Pitbull Cruz. Um, Romero came in at 139.6. Why wow. Cruz came in at one thirty eight point eight. Cruz twenty eight, 
Romero 20, I mean, Cruz 25, Romero 28, Cruz is on 5-4, Romero 5-8, Cruz been pro longer, nine years, Romero been a pro seven years, and Romero only got a two-inch reach advantage, even though he got a full, a full-inch height advantage, so there you have it. He said the Chihuahua is about to show up because you know what Romero been calling um, people with Cruz a Chihuahua. Hey, the 50 this, you did this morning do not count. <laughs> hey, we doing, we talking about now. So yeah, so 50 push-ups. If um, Romero win, I owe the Mexican G50 push-ups. But a Roly win, the Mexican G owe me 50 push-ups. Yeah, I gotta start doing push-ups too. I used to do push-ups all the time. Yep, it's a deal. <laughs> Done deal. Yeah. Now, even if they get the fight, let's just let's let's go ahead and agree to this. If they give uh, Romero to fight and we clearly see that Pitbull Cruz won then you still owe me 50 push-ups but you know they you know they, they be cheating like oh I don't know what you gotta remember uh, Romero is still being promoted by Floyd so it could be some stuff in the game real spill where my Sabero at oh man SB that's what it had my Sabero on This one of them kind of fights. They gonna be going out all out. Yeah, these two fights that shouldn't happen right now is what I believe is must see TV. I got Pitbull Cruz. That boy Donald got all that energy. That boy said, I just ran four miles. That's good. Ran or jog. That's definitely two differences. Running and jog are two different things. I see the young lady uh, at the gym. Uh, she jog one one mile and sprint one mile. Boy, it hit different when you, you know when you're a woman and you trying you know you, women have to work harder to keep their body in fit because of the different structures of the, of the body. You know, you know, woman woman had kids. You know, men can't have kids, so they they can spread a certain way. Oh yeah, you 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 did not you did not run four miles. Bet you jogged four miles. Oh yeah, see, see that Biff, see yo, see what I'm talking about. Down to us, no jogging here. Yeah, right. I do not believe that. Stop it! I do not believe that. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get my other little. Yeah, Ro Roly look nervous. Oh, he know it's about to get real. He the champ. That guy. Now, how you become champ? Did they give him the belt, SB? Did he earn the belt? I think it was some stuff in the game when he got the belt. Yeah, it was some stuff how he got the belt. Oh, uh, you could work hard, but hey, I got—I need to see the jog, the, the jogging and sprinting. You can, I, you could work hard, but when you talking about jogging and you talking about sprinting, it's a different story. Just because you work hard, 
don't mean that you sprinted four miles. I didn't say that we didn't work hard, but I was saying sprinting four miles and jogging four miles is two different stories. You better save some of that energy. That boy looking like Santa Claus. Um, the promoter, uh, C, uh, CEO, uh, SB, of uh, uh, Mayweather Promotions, Will and Ella B. Bub, a smart person. So I got, I got crews in this one. San Antonio, what's up, though? In the building. Well, y'all stay hot, hot all year round. Um, we got to, we got to, me and SB need to make some moves. I, I love Michigan, but boy, it get cold in the wintertime. I, I wouldn't mind being in San Antonio. San Antonio, stay uh, warm, don't it, SB? Man, dude, San Antonio, that's Texas. Texas, stay warm. Man, when well, you know the state of Texas or the city of Texas, they stay warm. That's Texas. I never heard about no snow being in Texas. Dallas, Texas. Oh, it's about to get real. That little bitty guy. He gonna be up in your chest. That boy, um, Pitbull Cruz. Oh yeah, so I got Cruz too. Biff, CEO. Oh yeah, that's a bad boy. Ooh, I need that prime over there. Champ, you hear me? You hear me, champ? That prime is right there. That's my little mixes right there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Let me go ahead and grab it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh oh. Here you go, y'all. Uh oh. I'm both fighting up one thirty nine. Oh yeah, I can't wait for this one. Like this. Been waiting on this one all night, all week. Find out, Joe. For real. <laughs> Welcome to the live. Appreciate y'all for, ta for tapping in. Round one. Pitbull to the body with the jab. Oh, then a right hook. He's going for the gusto. Guess who's moving around the ring? Your boy. Oh, right hook. There you go. Left hook from Pitbull Cruz. He ain't landing. Oh, another left hook. He ain't landing, but he sure was trying to land it. Uh-oh. Good jab. Oh, right hook from Pitbull Cruz. And Roley trying to hold his arm a little bit, putting a little something out there here and there, and then moving. He's trying to catch on Pitbull coming in. Good. Oh, good uppercut from, uh, Pit, from, uh, from Roley. And then the guys, the guys tangled up and Pitbull still punching. Roly jabbing and Pitbull lunging and lean and throwing hooks. And guess who holding? Roly holding. 
But I think you might want to renege on that bet. Give my push-ups, big fella, the Mexican G. Jab from Roley, another jab to the body from Roley. And Roley's moving back, right hook from Pitbull Cruz, even though he missed. He's throwing with bad intentions. He remember, oh, good right hook from um from Pitbull Cruz, but good counter punch from Roley. So Roley, look, he, he he learning a little bit. Good right hook from um, Roley. A left hook miss from Pitbull Cruz. Pitbull is walking around instead of cutting the ring off. Roley sliding side to side and trying to catch Pitbull coming in. Right hook to the head, left hook to the body. And now Pitbull is being held, but he's using his right hand to punch, even though he's being held. And the referee is one of both fighters. Let these boys fight. Oh, left hook from uh, Pitbull. And I think he got Roley hurt. Oh, Roley is hurting with one arm and getting caught. Oh, Roley is hurt. Oh, another hook from Pitbull Cruz. Oh, he's super hurt. Roley about to get knocked out in round one. Oh, man, I told you. He about to get his belt took. Look, he is holding for dear life. Pitbull about to knock that boy out the game. Them body shots, head shots. Oh, Look at Roly, Roly rolling, you know what I'm saying? Using the Floyd Mayweather little, oh, as they call it, the Philly shell. Made in Michigan. Oh, man, good hook from um, Pitbull Cruz, but Roly getting up out of there, you know what I mean? Because, oh, good little jab from on Roly, but Roly hurt bad. <laughs> he is hurt bad. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to tell you, you better watch out. Pitbull Cruz is trying to walk Roly down, and he's winning. He about to win the belt in spectacular fashion. But, hey, if Roley can survive with seven seconds, anything can happen. It's round one. and But them body shots and head shots from um, Pitbull Cruz is on 10. And Roley survives the first round barely. And, look, he's still hurt walking around, looking sideways. Stop it! Oh, man, what a round from Pitbull Cruz, the Mexican G. Now, uh, what was you saying? <laughs> You can give me give me forty five right now. And you ain't gotta do the other five. <laughs> Stop it! Oh man, it's over. My, I'm trying to tell you, Co. Biff, hey, no, Mexican G. Tell me, he can catch him coming in. I can't hear you. I don't know. I don't know, but I know one thing. He get caught with a hook like that again. <laughs> and a headbutt. Oh, that's double trouble. You get hit with a hook and a headbutt? That is bad for your brain. Yeah, he ain't going to be able to keep that little bitty guy off of him. Look, Tank watching this fight like this, I'm never going to get back in the ring with um, Pitbull. That boy is a Pitbull for real. Oh, good hook. That boy, um, Pitbull Cruz, got a hook. I'm not going to lie about it. That hook is something different. But I don't think the hook is what's going to do it because um, Roley see that coming. It's the right hook. There it go. And he's still trying to, he's still, hey, P Roley trying to catch him coming in. It's just that it ain't, you know, he ain't slowing Pitbull Cruz down at all. Maybe if he fainted or something, he could slow him down. Pitbull Cruz is on him like a K9 T-shirt. That boy on him, boy. Smarly, though, hey, Roly is grabbing when he had a grab. And, you know, uh, Pitbull Cruz with the hard guard, and he, he's hitting to the head real good, hitting to the head, the body. Yeah, Roly say, forget it. I got to throw. You better throw like you never threw before and keep throwing. But his punch is just not compact enough. To be able to, you know, slow down Pitbull Cruz. He ain't got no jab or nothing. And you can't you don't want to trade with a with a with a, a puncher. You know what I mean? That's what he know. He wants you to fight him. And once you trade with him, all you're gonna do is leave yourself open. And, you know, Roly trying to buy time, Pitbull Cruz trying to take him out the game. And see all I'm seeing is Roly holding. And referee is not warning Roly. We need to see a fight. We want to see a fight. This we can't hear to see. A fight, you hear me? Oh, good one-two from uh, Roley. Oh, good body shot from Pitbull Cruz. And once again, Roley is holding. Like, ref, thank you. You got a one from holding. Thank you. Because, man, we, this is a fight. We paid money. This is on pay-per-view. Stop it. Like, we want to see a fight. Good right hand from Roley. 
Another right, come on, Roly, quit running. You better punch. Roly hitting and moving, boy. Roly like, man, I'm not about to fight this boy. Little boy, it all look good on outside looking in. Good body shot from Pitbull Cruz. But when you get in there, boy, it's something different. He called that man everything with a, you know what I mean, a child of uh, the most high. He called a man a chihuahua. I wonder if he's thinking like that now. Good counter hook. Good hook from both guys. And then Roly, what he doing? Holding. Now, how many times you going to warn him? You're going to have to take a point. We came to see a fight. Jab to the body from uh, Pitbull Cruz. Jab from Roly. And he catches Roly coming in. Roly catches him coming in. Good. And Roly's move. Oh, good right hook from Pitbull Cruz. Roly puts the hand out there and tries to measure on Pitbull Cruz and slide him up with the right hand. Oh, a hook missed by uh, Pitbull Cruz. Then the right hand, then a hook from uh, Pitbull Cruz. And Roly's measuring him and moving. Roly having a better round this round. He's kind of settled down a little bit more. But he's fighting for his life. I mean, for real. He's seemingly be one punch away from getting stopped. But he hanging in there. I mean, Roly, gonna, if you want to keep his title, you're going to have to get some respect. I'm talking about some. Rita Franklin, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, for real. I'm trying to tell you. Ah, don't seem like it ain't over yet, but it's, it's looking bad for you. It is looking bad for you, big fella. Boom. It's showing the right hook from um, Pitbull Cruz. Right directly on the forehead of Roly. Like, man, that boy holds like a mug. You can hold a guy, but if you hold him, let him go. Hold him and then move. Hold him and grab him. Kill his momentum, but you can't hold for dear life. This ain't what this is. You know what I mean? It's the co-main event, pay-per-view, and you the champ of the world. Now, Roly going out there with little jabs, jab, jabs, and hooks. He's trying to, you know what I mean? He's trying to get some respect, so he's moving side to side. And Pitbull Cruz just got the high guard up and looking for Throw his right hooks or left hooks. He's trying to get his punches off. He know he's one punch away from ending the game. And you know people with Cruz want that Tank Davis rematch. And if he can knock out Roly, oh, he got a good chance of getting it. Oh, good try overhand right and he missed. And, you know, thank God for Roly. He saw it coming. So now people are going to have to get a little closer because uh, Roly looking out for them overhand rights now. Now he's and Roly looking ain't looking bad now. Like he's doing what he got to do, holding, hitting, moving, and punching. That's what Roly doing. And now you know he's starting to see the punches coming from on um, Pitbull Cruz. So Pitbull Cruz gonna have to get closer before he try to uh, unload one of them bombs. So once again, Roly is pawing with the jab, throwing a the one two, and then sliding back. Pitbull Cruz need to quit just walking and start throwing two and three jabs to get to where you're going. Because that's going to make Roly have to think about something else. But when you just throw a number of bombs, Roly can get away from that. He should be good enough to get away from that. Good right hook from Roly and then way to slide. See what I'm saying? Pitbull Cruz is making himself a little too predictable. Like, And Roly, if he can fight like this, the rest of the fight, he can win it. He can retain his belt. Definitely. You know? And then and keep holding. And the referee going to let him do it. Because he's moving and doing a little something here and there. Yep. Good, good little jab from Roly. Then a right hook. Then Roly moves. And this round, this is how Roly should be fighting. Little left hook from on Roly, but don't stay there. Then he pushes on uh, Pitbull Cruz and hits Pitbull Cruz. Then he grabs. Oh, good right hook from Pitbull Cruz. Oh, now they both shit. They trading war stories now on the inside. But Pitbull Cruz, of course, if they stay on the inside and they punch. You know, both guys punch, you know, you're going to get it, you know, send advantages to Pitbull Cruz. And Roly on his bicycle again. Moving to the left, to the left, to the right. Oh, and Roly tries to catch him coming in. Oh, good counter punch from Roly and good trade back from Pitbull Cruz. Uh oh, good body shot from Pitbull Cruz. And guess who's holding? Roly he did all that talking and he the one holding. Every time you look up, he holding. Don't hold. You're going to talk that talk. Walk that walk. Oh, good right hook from um, Pitbull Cruz. Man, and can Roly deal with all this onslaught? It's only round three. And he got Roly on a bicycle like never before. Good good counter punch from Roly. Oh, good hook from um, Pitbull Cruz. 
Oh yeah, Roly. Yeah, yeah. Roly say I ain't signed up for this. <laughs> when you become champ, it don't get easier, bro. They want that title. Trust me. When I became champ, it didn't get easier. Everybody, their mama wanted to fight me. They knew if I beat K nine, or even even if I fight K nine, I got a chance to make it back. So, man, it don't get easier. It get harder. You hear me? And then that's what they, that's what you sign up for. Pit bull is a pit bull, gray beard. It is what it is. The gray beard. Pity show gonna get him, Joe. He gonna get him, get him, you hear me? Stop it! Hey, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at K9Boxing. Hey, if you wanna support the channel, you're welcome to Super Chat and dollar sign K9Boxing. Yeah, yeah, I, I see. I peeped the game. Yeah, so good. Jab up and jab down. I always do that, champ. Oh, triple jab right hand. Good. Jab to the body from uh, Pitbull Cruz. And Roly, you know what Roly doing? Moving. He got to move. You stand there and fight Pitbull Cruz, you're going to get knocked out. He is not going to play. That's, what his, that's his style. He's the Mike Tyson. Oh. Oh, the... Um, lightweight division. I like the fact that um that uh Roly trying to catch on um, Pitbull Cruz on the inside, but at the same time you put yourself in danger because you try to throw the uppercut and get caught with a hook. Boy, you're gonna be in trouble. Good body shot for Pitbull Cruz. Good one two straight right down the middle from um from Roly on my wrist. Roly on a Roly with the right uppercut and then he hold. Then right uppercut then he hold. Then the right hook from on um, Pitbull Cruz. Now, Pippa or Cruz, he walk too much. You need to quit walking and slide to your opponent. Slide. Slide. Good good try from on Roly, you little hook. And you can't paw. Thank you, um, ref. Because ref, um, Roly was out there pawing, putting his hand out there to try to measure his opponent. And the referee warned him and said, you can't do that. If they told me I can't do it, then you know you can't do it. Back and forth, look. Roly sliding to the right, sliding to the left. Good body shot from Pitbull. And then guess who's holding? Roly. That's right. Ref doing a great job. Let them make them boys fight. We came to see a fight. Good. Good. Good body shot from Pitbull Cruz. And he's on. He on Roly like a K9 t shirt. And Roly fighting though. Oh, Roly fight though. Because, oh, I think he got hurt though. Oh, right hook, left hook from uh, Pitbull Cruz. Oh, man. Either Roly could take a punch, boy. Or Roly hurt and he playing possum. Roly with another good body um, head shot and he move, but that pressure that Pitbull is putting on, I um, putting on Roly is enough pressure to wear you out. And and um, Roly better be in super great shape because the body shots that Pitbull is hitting him with and that pressure he's putting on um I um. Roly, right hook, left hook from um, Pitbull, another right hook from Pitbull, another hook from Pitbull, another hook from Pitbull, and Roly smartly grabs. I think he like 10 points is too late. <laughs> Stop it! I'm trying to tell you. There you go. Good body shot from Roly. Good counter punch from Roly, but Roly is there. Oh, right, Roly gets across the right hook, but then comes back with the right hand. This is good action in round four. The best ac action of the fight so far. In a fight, and it's been all action. Good hook from on Roly. Oh, good. I mean, good hook from Pitbull. Oh, man, these boys playing rock 'em, sock 'em. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, and they go to bell. Good uppercut from um, from Roly. I think Roly just got used to the um, shots and stuff. Like, he kind of like. Oh, man. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's, this is a good fight. I'm just really watching a good fight. I ain't really calling like what I think the fight is, but man, it's a good fight. You heard that? You better tell him, Joe. T tell SB, K9, UAA, since it's contending, you look the same. I have to agree with you on that, you know? I might actually look better now. Say so like we like wine. Oh, body shot, head shot. Oh, good counter point. They showing the, the replay. Oh man, the difference in the replay and what they showing Pitbull Cruz catching um Roly is that Roly know they coming like that down, so he prepared for it. 
Yeah, at first he wasn't prepared for it. When it first came like that, shoot, he he wasn't ready. But he ready now. He actually, he know how they coming now. They look good. Right hook from Roley. And then Roley moves. So Roley can see the punches coming a little bit now. Good combination from uh, from Roley. And if Roley can mess around and catch Tank, I mean, if Roley can mess around and catch Pitbull coming in like that, he, he you never know. He might end up getting a little... A knockout. I mean, I can't see it happening, but hey, it could. Anything's possible. Good right hook from Roley. Good body shot from Pitbull. And Pitbull loves to dip. He likes to dip and shoot. Good jab from Roley. Good right hook from Roley. Good right hand down the middle from Roley. Good uppercut combination from Roley. And he smartly grabs. But in grabbing, you ain't grabbing good enough. And guess who's landing shots? The Pitbull. Oh, Pitbull with the body shot. And Roley moves, moves, and Pitbull throws the hooks and misses because Roley is getting up out of there. You hear me? Roley's moving to the right. Roley moving to the left. And Roley going to try to catch him coming in or either he going to hold. Good one, two down the middle from um, Romero. Good uppercut from Roley. But then body shots from Pitbull. And the referee is definitely looking out for um, Roley because Roley is a champ, but Roley is doing a lot of holding. Good body shot from um, Pitbull. And Roley's still trying to get up out of there. You know, he's, he's fighting smart. Don't fight. Don't exchange with, a, with you know, a guy that wants to fight like that. Good body shot from Roley. Then he smartly moves again. So Roley is moving. Roley up against the rope, and he's holding. I'm talking about he's holding for dear life. And the referee got to take a point. He got to either warn him one last time from holding. He tell him, look, bro, I'm going to take a point if you do it one more time. He's making it too obvious. Good body shot from um from Pitbull. And right after he, the referee warns him, he goes and hold him again. Oh, good counter punches from um, Pitbull Cruz. And Roley, you just better fight, bro, because. Oh, yeah, here it come. One point. Uh-oh, referee warned him, like, don't push his head down. That show bought that boy a lot of time. Good combinations from um, Pitbull Cruz. And Roley is holding again. Guess what? One point from Roley for holding. Here you go. Watch this. One point. Yeah, he might lose this fight. And, and great job from the uh, referee. You can't keep hold. You got to fight, bro. Talk all that mess. Everybody heard you talking all that mess on social media. Now you want to hold this man? Fight this man. Yeah, let's go. It's time to fight now. Nah. Yeah, Pitbull, like, let's go. Remember you called me Chihuahua. Stop it. Good body shot from Pitbull. Oh, good right hook from Pitbull. Oh, now nah, guess what? Now nah, really got to fight. Because if he hold it, going to take points from him. So now he got to fight. Now I guess what he's doing. Holding again. The onslaught is something different. Oh, good. Ooh, you got, hey, look, you ain't here. You wouldn't. You ain't getting paid to hold. You getting paid to fight, you hear me? It's a strap. A strap, a strap. Now that guy, hey, why? That guy right there, the guy in the middle, the black guy with the funny hair, that boy, Matias, is not in the play with. They better stay away from him. All of them. And Romero only going to be up there for a short period of time. So did. Yeah, I ain't listen. Devin and them ain't going nowhere near that guy. God bless you. Yeah, he, <laughs> hey, here we are. They not going near that boy. Man, where well, that boy Demeska G, he done disappeared in this boy. What up, Nikki? Oh, what's up, Torres? Man, I got who you got winning? I got I got a little pit bull winning. Pit bull is winning. Hook right hand from Roly. Roly, you gotta just go ahead and push that man back. Who let that man back you up? If you if you back him up, because most fighters who who fight good going back, going forward, I mean, can't fight good going back. Just like Romero ain't good at fighting backwards, and he's forced to fight backwards. That was a good little right hook from uh, Romero, but yeah, he's losing. On the unofficial scorecards, Cruz is up 49-44, and about to take 
Broly Romero was built in round six. In a fight that it seemed like we in, it seemed like we in round nine. It's been so much action. Good right hook from uh, Romero. But Pitbull can take a punch. I mean, seriously. Because I ain't never saw him rocked. Good counter punch from uh, Pitbull. And Romero's doing the same thing he's been doing. Moving this way. Moving that way. He, he to the left. He, to the right. Good jab from uh, Pitbull Cruz. And Roley moving again. You can't keep the title like that. Not when you already gave a point to you know, but he nobody ever showed him how to actually fight on the inside. He's just a powerful puncher, and that's it. But if somebody in his in his butt, like you know, tissue boy, hey, he don't know what to do. And that, and you know that's how Pitbull fight. Pitbull is coming to you. You know, one way, phone booth, phone booth fighting. And so far, though, oh, good right hand lead from uh, Pitbull. But like I was going to say, for so far, you know, Ro Romero is winning the round so far. Until you stand in one spot and, and, and allow Pitbull to unleash them, them punches, that's when, you know, saying he get behind or he loses the round. But right now, he's throwing punches and moving and hitting and moving. And, and he's winning like that this round here. Yeah, you know, just don't stand there. I, I, I think um, I'm, I'm, I'm the referee, I think the referee, referee did a good job at, at forcing these boys to fight. Ain't no just grabbing. Good right hook from um, Pitbull Cruz. Oh, good hook from Pitbull Cruz. Another hook from Pitbull Cruz. Really just got to throw fast combinations and then grab with his move. But he don't know how to fight on the inside. He don't know what to do when he's in danger. When a person don't respect him and can take a punch, he has no idea what to do. And these trainers making all that money, but don't really know how to get real instructions. When the fighter really, really needs it. Seven seconds in the round. And Roley still want to hold. But hey, he about to get his belt held. <laughs> and two, three rounds or less. I uh, appreciate you. I collector. He said, he said, I just realized who you are. Legend. Where did you see me fight at, big fella? Yeah, you saw me fight before? Oh, this is a good fight right here. Well, this is, hey, this is a good one-sided fight right here. Oh, definitely make sure y'all tap in, y'all. Whoop that trick. Whoop that. Hit the like button. That's what whoop that trick means, okay? Because we don't disrespect women, you know? So that trick wouldn't be a female. It would be the like button. Oh, boy. Appreciate that, Nikki. Jab right hook from Roly on my wrist. There you go. Combination from Roly on my wrist. That's what you got to do. You got to throw combination. Bop, 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 and then move. Fast punches. Quit trying to throw hard punches all the time. Just throw quick ones. Bop, bop, and move. Bop, bop, move. You feel me? You got to bop, bop, and move. Oh, that's what you got to do. There you go. Holding again. You know the referee is not playing that. The last time you did that, a little too often, you got... A point took from you. Oh, good hook from the pit bull. That boy on you like a K9 t shirt. Pit bull Cruz is on that boy, Roly. But Roly are being forced to grow up. Yeah, you got to grow up, boy. This A. Yeah, you, know what I'm you got to learn how to deal with that. Don't seem like, you know what I'm saying? He was sparring a guy that fight like pit bull Cruz, you know? Couldn't have been. You got to be in there with somebody that's going to be there. Because whoever you was in the ring with that you probably was hurting it was not the same as Pitbull Cruz. You need somebody that's going to be there. Because, look, Pitbull Cruz is there. You got to have somebody that's going to be there. Good combination. Oh, from um, Roley. But then he gets crossed with a left hook on top of the head. Oh, right hook from um, Pitbull Cruz. 
And I think that um, that Rhodey is immune to them punches now. It's like he a hey, he taking whatever pit bull throw now because he didn't get immune to it. Yeah, he immune to the venom, the venom that he's getting. Um, he's taking, he's used to it now. So Pitbull Cruz will have to catch it with something. He seriously don't see a couple of them. He got caught another big shot, and he took it. Am I right or wrong, SB? Yeah, he taking them shots now because he can see them coming. Oh, but not now. He hurt now. Boom. Yeah, he definitely hurt now. He hurt. Oh, it's about to be over with. Yeah, Pitbull about to take him out the game. Oh, look. Oh, and the referee is not going to help you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You, you the champ too? Oh, look at these combinations. But he's still there. Rollie is still there. He better start. You better block and throw back something. Oh, oh yeah. Uh-oh. Where the towel at? The team going to come in with the towel. Oh, good uppercut. He about to finish that boy. Look. Oh, man. Bamboozle. Uh-oh. Stop it. Oh, man. He, But he there. He ain't went down yet, boy. He still throwing punches back. Yeah, he just got the round, boy. That's all. Ten seconds left. I think he going to make it out the round. He's showing a lot of heart. Yeah, hey, even though Cruz is putting something on him. He's showing a lot. Of, he's showing the heart of a lion, the heart of a champ to make it through the round. Oh, man. That boy got a lot of heart. You got to get that boy, if not nothing else, get him an A for effort. And he got a lot of heart. Like I say, boy, you got to have a great training camp, the right kind of trainer, the right kind of work. Everything means something. Man, he gets showing replays. And it's all Pitbull Cruz. Arr, 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 arr. Oh, man. Constantly. Nothing but uppercuts and hooks. Com combinations. Oh, another uppercut. Another jab. And another. Bam. He, look, he's constantly moving and punching. Boom. And do you know that Rolly Romero had the nerve to get a, a charm of Isaac Pitbull Cruz with big ears? Oh, man. He, listen, he... <laughs> He shouldn't have did that. That boy eating him up. How can you wear a charm with a guy that beat your butt? Oh, look at the referee. Like the ref I mean, yeah, look like the doctor trying to stop it. Like, do you want to continue? Are you sure? He said, yeah, I'm going to let him go. Exactly. Now, don't take my belt like this. Uh-uh. Give me an opportunity. Man, you better hold. Get another point took. I'd rather get another point took than, than let the guy just walk me down. That boy moving like a mug. Now, nah, boy, he on a tricycle like a mug. Oh, good left hook, then right hook to the body. Hook to the head, right hook to the body from Isaac Cruz. And he know where to go. He going to the body. And you want to keep, hey, you want to move? I'm going to slow them legs down. And, man, that boy is showing some good recovery. Um, Romero, he looked totally different than what he was before he went to, the, um, went to this corner. But... How long will he be able to move? How long will he be able to last in round eight? Two minutes and 26 seconds. And Pitbull on him like a K-9 t-shirt. He's still going for the knockout. Oh, that's a good job by the referee. Oh, the referee like, come on. Look, I like that. The referee telling the other guy to hurt, put the stuff on, the tape on. And it's actually the guy that's actually winning. Oh, that's dirty. Boy, that's dirty. The referee getting paid off. Oh, man, the referee getting paid off. Man, people always say all kind of stuff. When it, it, oh, man, they always say that kind of stuff. You know, the black people, they say black people all look alike. Did you know how much time, do you know how much time they just gave um, Romero to actually get out the, out the round? The referee took a long, he took the, oh, 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 oh. It did not matter. I don't think the referee should stop that. Nah, yeah, but but the pit bull a little guy. This guy's the world champ. Uh-uh. Don't stop that. But hey, I I need my 50 push-ups. The Mexican G with my 50 at. He told me I might have to do 50. No, 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 no. Not Mike. <laughs> do with all your might. <laughs> stop it. Oh, yeah, he got the brakes beat off of him, though, so, I mean, I wouldn't argue with it. It's over. Oh, yeah, don't put no question mark. It's over. Put an exclamation point. 
Oh, I don't know if it's gonna get better. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this fight right here was top notch. And will it get better? I don't know. Cause yeah, I remember Sebastian Fandura might not have nothing left. He might get knocked out real early. So you know, he, hey, Tank had to take. I mean, um, Pitbull had to take the title from uh, Roly Romero. That's probably why Floyd wasn't there. Floyd probably knew, like, look. And now he about to find out Floyd is not your friend. He gonna get kicked out the gym. It's over. Stop it. Congratulations to Pitbull Cruz. Oh, man. He just a beast, though. That boy, the Mexican G2, wants to give me a second. I just ate. That don't matter. Torres is over, you hear me? Wow, let's, let's see the oh, replay. Uh, let's watch the replay. Doom. Ooh, he clipped that chin with his mouth open. He clipped the chin. Doom, right hand in the middle. Doom. Get the referee out the way. I'm missing the action. Boom. Body shot. They showing the replay. Boom. Straight left hook on the head. Boom. Jab. Then he going to the body. Boom. Then he clipped the head. Boom. And straight right hand. Then another hook. Boom. And another right hand. Oh. 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 Oh, man, them shots was coming like that. But in the mix of him, the referee stopping the fight, he, you know, uh, Romero was trying to do something. Like, he trying to do, let the man do whatever he was going to do. You still got seconds left. You just give me five more seconds and let me see what's going on. That boy the champ now, boy. You look, that boy, I don't care what they say. He beat Tank Davis. They robbed that boy. Put that boy in there with any of them guys in his weight class. He want all the smoke. I wouldn't mind seeing him in there with anyway. If anyway was the same size, anyway would be a good fight for him. Oh, put him in there with that one guy. What's the you know that little um you know that little black guy that beats uh so, so, um what's the guy's name? So, so Jahan. Put him in there with that guy. That's a great fight. I ordered that on pay-per-view all day. Man, Rody is all bark, no bite. That, and he the perfect person you can put on a shirt. Rody is all bark, no bite. That is the truth. Oh, yeah, Rody, he done. He ain't nothing but opponent. Now they gonna put him in there. He fresh meat. You fresh meat. He's straight opponent now. And hopefully he made some money and put his money up because um it's over with now. Yeah. Yeah. That boy, Pitbull Cruz, I mean, I, I like his style. That boy is really a maniac. I hear you. Oh, oh yeah. I ain't gonna be able to see it. You know they gonna be lying to me. I did fifty k. I ain't do no fifty. He definitely made Roly look like an amateur, but Roly style is kind of amateurish. He don't throw, do nothing spectacular. Like he just throw a bunch of bombs. Go look, watch. Go watch Roly shadow box. He be yeah, eh, eh. He make all that noise and he point me eh, eh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he seriously got a very nasty style. And people don't know, people don't know boxing. You know what the person said? I just talked about that earlier. He said, bro, seriously, he be tank, laugh out loud. Tank for him with one hand for eight rounds. So that lets you know he lost the fight. <laughs> if you fought a, a guy like uh, Pitbull Cruz with run arm, eight rounds. You just told me who won the fight, just right there. Yeah. See, people out here want to only be thinking. You think you're going to be the guy like Pitbull Cruz with one arm? This young man on here said he beat that, that he, that, um, tank fought 
for a pit bull with one arm for eight rounds. So that lets you know who won the fight. You ain't beat him for no eight rounds with one arm. <laughs> People don't be thinking, boy. Yeah, I like Tank. Yeah, man, I like Tank. I I think Tank a, a great fighter. Man, he do numbers on this channel right here. But when you lose, you lose. When you win, you win. I don't care who you is. You lost, you lost. I don't care. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not no fan to where I'm I'm gonna sit there and, and lie for you. If you lost, you lost. Even if I like you and you're one of my best fighters. Mike Tyson's one of Listen, he one of the best fighters. I like him a lot. But if he go out there and lose, he can go out there and lose. I'm telling the truth. Ray Jones, it don't matter who it is, you know? Only person I, I might be biased is my son. And only to so much, I'm going to say. I, I ain't going to kill him when he comes to something, but I'm going to be like, man, that wasn't a good look. I ain't going to say what I would say probably... You know about the, the average person I'm just gonna be like man he lost bad He didn't look good Now my son I'm just gonna say it wasn't a good look He didn't win a fight If that makes sense But yeah I keep it 100 buddy I don't know If you know but I know I keep it 100 for sure Mike Tyson T Oh yeah, Roly, uh, hey man, listen, Biff, CO, Roly be always acting like he be you know, suffering, I mean, not trying to kill him or blaze him from CTE. He be acting like, yeah, something be wrong with him for real. The way he talk, just the stuff he be saying, I be like, yeah, he need to go, you know, really be checked out. Yeah, yeah, I can see that for real, Wine Sharp. I've been new pit bull had it. Yeah. Definitely new pit bull had this one. I was willing to go to go to bat for him. See what I'm saying? That's why I, I went 50 push-ups against somebody for pit bull in this fight. I didn't see Roly having a chance. And I was 100 percent right. Yeah, that boy all night long, Cal. Yeah, he always give it money's worth. That's why I say when you, when he was on the undercard, it definitely made up for a last replacement and the main event really not being, to me, uh, worthy of pay-per-view money. When you put Pitbull Cruz against, you know, uh, Roley Romero on, on the card, it made for it because Roley talked all that mess. So to even to see him lose from talking so much mess, you know, you kind of you kind of really want to see that t to a certain extent. But at the same time, look, he gave it all. You know, one thing I can't say about Roley, he do got heart. He, he he talk a lot of crap, but you know what I mean. He gonna try his best to back it up. And if you ain't if you ain't got a certain style, if you ain't good good, he'll get you out of there. He got some power, you know. He just don't have the skills, you know what I mean? And he don't know what to do when uh, he don't know what to do on adversity. And you know, he needed some 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 instructions, or he needed a better game plan at the time of you know the onslaughts of the pit bull. That pit bull, you got it, man. You got to shoot that pit bull with something for real. Think about a real pit bull. You got to shoot that pit bull. If not, that pit bull is coming at you. You got to have a gun in your holster. I'm telling you. Oh, it's over. No, I really, really didn't quit. He had to get... He had to get knocked into submission, really. And or the referee had to actually save him. Because if you go look at the fight... At the time that the referee stopped it, Roley was like he was trying to punch back, you know? Well, hey, but too little, too late, you know what I mean? And it is what it is. Subscribe to the channel. All you people that's on this boy ain't subscribed, subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications. And of course, follow me on Instagram at K9Boxing. And you're always welcome to Super Chat to help the channel. You're able to cash, you can cash app, dollar sign, K9Boxing. 
right hand side of the screen if you want to help the channel you want to support the channel definitely hit the like button and I was saying the same thing I collector what's up the sports guy yes sir all day to us Absolutely, Nikki. We show sure thank everybody for being here for real. Got some up, 2K. Yeah, man, Rody got heart. Yeah, he got heart. But hey, he don't have the skills. You know, and, and that's something he need to work on. He need to work on setting stuff up. You know that hey, you got to work on that stuff. You got to get better and better and better. Oh man, the Mexican G is cap. Too much. I did the fifty push-ups. Stop it! I can't get Steven to do 50 push-ups for nothing. Oh no, we couldn't fight plug life. You got to fight. You ain't here to be holding, 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 holding. The referee gave him plenty of warnings before he finally took a point. Yeah, you got to eventually, you know. Now, if he'd have been holding for a second, then letting go, then 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 doing something, it'd have been different. But he was holding, and he waited for the referee to break him up. If you hold and break up before the referee get there, that's a different story. You hold, and then you turn your 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 opponent, and then you move. You hold, you turn your opponent, and you move. If he'd have been doing that, then it'd have been a different story. But that ain't what he was doing. He was holding until the referee told him to stop. And that's not a good look. Oh, man. I don't know what uh, Huff was looking at. He told Marshall Rowley got ripped off. The fix was in. Stop it! Uh... Uh, that's real, Cal. Oh, no, I'm going with Cruz all day, Angel R. I got to go with the Cruz. Cruz control. We're going with the Cruz control. We got to. Definitely make sure when y'all tap in, y'all hit the like button. Yeah. And subscribe to the channel. Like I say, I know we got a lot of newbies on this boy. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We all we got. Yep. If we don't do it, who gonna do it? Happy resurrection. Everybody that's tapping in this boy. Yeah, that's a good one right here, y'all. We got one more fight to go. One more fight and it's over, you hear me? We got one fight to go, y'all. Appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. God bless y'all for that. Team K9 is in the building, definitely. Last fight. I hope I hope Fedora got some left. If he got some left, we gonna definitely see, you know. Yeah, we gonna definitely see um a great fight if he if he has something left. Oh 
man. Um, let's see. Yep, one more fight, y'all. Main event. Hopefully, they don't talk us to death when it just comes on. Fast and furious. Man. So far, we had some a great, great night of boxing. I mean. Been good fights, a great little car, a good opener for um, Prime, for PBC. Yeah, it's really real, a good look. For real, for real. Man. Back in the game. Not a main event. Now, you know Sebastian Fedora is a late replacement. He's taking um, taking over for um, Keith Thurman. And uh, I think on paper, this is actually a better fight, but we don't know what Sebastian got, has left after getting knocked out in his last fight against um, Mendoza. So it's going to be mighty interesting to see what happens. Real, for real. Yeah. Goodness. Not long, not long, y'all. Rag Cut Custers. I think I don't even know, think he got that little the YouTube channel he had at first. Now the Showtime is not in the game anymore. Got a chance to make history tonight. It, um, Fandora, if he can win tonight, oh man, Last fight, y'all. It's the last fight. Just waiting, you know. You know they're doing a lot of talking, so I'm just ready for them to get to the action, and we go from there. Oh, that's going to be a good one, too, though. Saturday, May 4th. Oh, you know what PPC is um, promoting that fight, too? May the 4th on Canelo versus Mungua.
Yeah. That's good to see seeing you there. Oh, the Ugas guy boy is still around. doing a good job boy yeah, oh it's good to see Earl Spence in the building so I boy in a minute I thought he quit or what I don't know what the man done did I didn't know what had happened in SB you hear me they doing and they only got a couple of hundred people subscribe That's a swarm for it, What's up, Eric? What up, Eric? <laughs> Vinny Roth. Marco, what's up, though? Uh, Marco, he said he had to fight. He said this K9 is off the chain. That's good. I hope you're enjoying yourself, big fella. Definitely. Pitbull versus Gaddy. Oh, yeah. We can, you know, we could do all kind of fight um, thoughts on who, if we saw certain people against certain people. Um, Joe, you think about a Pitbull against 
you know, against um Aaron Pryor. It's a lot of, you know, possibilities, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't probably put him up there against certain guys like that. You got to. He good for this era. Even though even that era, it would be a good, um, style-wise, it would be a real good look. That boy got that fire on his shorts. That boy is number all still. Hey, I want to see. I want to see how he take it if he ever he get caught with one. What's up, four play forty eight? Et, what up, though? What it do like? What it be like? What it do? What's up, Drake? See, I'm on this boy. Boy, you know I'm over here calling these fights. That boy, Canito Drake, boy, on this boy. Good to have you on here, big fella. You could do with Bible study. Yeah. I really don't understand what you're saying right now. So much going on. I got um, Tim Gazoo. If Sebastian Fandora never got knocked out, I would have Sebastian Fandora. Yeah, I would have him. But coming in off his first knockout against somebody that's coming at him that's going to be there all night long, man, that's dangerous. As soon as he get here, he going to think about where he just came from. He going to think about, man, here we go again. That's just my opinion. Now, if he fight like it never happened, like he never got knocked out, then he gonna win. If he fight like the same guy he was before the knockout, if he fight like that, man, then it's gonna be a long night for I think Tim Kazoo. Yeah, if he fight like that. But if he fight like a guy who just got knocked out, then guess what, Tim Kazoo. I can't wait though. This is what we come to see. This right here is what we came to see. The main event. You want some of these right here, SB? Okay. I ain't have to look. Me ain't want nothing way, huh? Ooh, boy. You telling a long night? I'm so happy it's almost over though. Normally, man, normally what we mess around on this boy for one, two o'clock in the morning on SB. Hey, thank God. Hey, right, soon this one go with. I'm gonna say peace to y'all. Then one of these, let's just get back in the game and get sharp a little bit. It's one of the ones that SB said I just owed you one, right? Um, but leave a ball. The referral. Show me you still got it. And they got a good referee. The Harvey Harvey Doc. Hey, what? SB, I do want to get in the steam room, but I just think it's, I ain't want to get out and be cold. I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, you must don't know who this guy is. That boy Canelo Drake tomorrow, so he can really use the jab. Hey, that is not about to happen. You must ain't never saw him fight before. Mm -mm. He don't fight like that.
a wine shop is not good to, um especially with all this going on to spell a whole paragraph for me to have to read it mm -mm, buddy you better keep it short <clears throat> like my wife height short that's a lot going on big fella Man, I hope he still got it because I want to see a good fight. That's one thing I can say about this um this Tim Kazoo guy. He's willing to take on the best fighters possible. So, and a lot of people, look, the good thing, he make a name for himself because some people forget that his daddy is a Hall of Famer in Costa Zoo. So that's good why he making a name for his own self. I be forgetting his, da his daddy. <clears throat> it's on Costa Zoo. Happy resurrection to everybody. Yeah, I don't call it Easter. We call it resurrection. Let's watch the violence on Twitter, man. Roy got beat up by, oh yeah. Go to main event. You're going to see if um, Tim Kazoo can chop down a tree. And hopefully, the fun, if, um, Sebastian don't start fighting totally different than his whole style. If it ain't broke, just don't try to fix it. Just do what you normally do. That guy's so tall and lean, man. You, you see number of sticks. Like, he like a a whole bunch of sticks. A tree with a bunch of branches. My goodness. At least he trying to... Oh, boy, that boy, um, Kizu trying to land that right hook. Mm, huh? Yeah, he landed. And you got to remember, he's sharp because one thing Tim Kazoo been doing, he's been fighting a lot lately. And it seems like he's too close right now. But but that's normally where um, Fendora, uh, Fendora normally like to be at. But yeah, you better watch this guy. This guy, um, Tim Kazoo, real sharp. And I think it's very important for um, Sebastian Fendora to get out the first round. Don't get caught early, and you might have a good chance to, as the fight goes on to do better and better. Now, this is an opportunity of a lifetime for Sebastian Fandora. If he go out there and get a knockout, ain't nobody going to want to fight him, and that's guaranteed. And right or wrong, has be. No, nah, I mean, but you got to fight him because he's still the champ of the world. And that's why it's good for him. You the champ, they got to fight you. If they want to or not, they still got to fight you. I don't, I don't care. As long as you getting, you getting more money than you was getting. And see what I um, what Tim Kazoo got to do is he got to quit looking for the home run. He got to just keep chopping the tree down. You got to keep hitting the tree, and then the tree will fall. You know, you don't just hit the tree one time and the tree fall. Good right hook from Tim Kazoo. Oh, good right hand from Tim Kazoo. And f looks like um, my man. The furrow was looking kind of slow. Yeah, Sebastian Fandora looking kind of slow. No, 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 I said Fandora. Oh, man. So, yeah, we in round one. And it just seemed like it's a matter of time, though, actually, before um, Tim Kazoo catch Fandora because of the telling shots is being uh, landed by. Uh, Tim Kazoo, but I hope 
that that uh, Fedora can get out this round without getting caught with nothing seriously because it's 10 seconds left in the round. And if he can get caught, if he can get out the round without getting buzzed, he's going to do better the next round. And he just caught um, Tim with a good left hook. And Tim could try to land it, and the bell rang, and I am happy about that situation because I wanted to see, I want to see a good fight. I don't want it to be lacklustrous, one round knockout, and it's over. I want to see that guy, you know, in there because he's good for boxing. You know what I mean? With some some heavy hitters, with some serious players, win, lose, or draw. I don't want to see neither guy do terribly bad. That was a good straight right hand. He's trying to replay. That's the only right hand of the round, and that might have won the round for Tim Kazoo. He's a champ, so you got to take it from the champ. Exactly. What you mean? They don't give me nothing. That's what you're saying? Oh, so did E.J. Smith. Didn't have to take it from me. You're right. That's true. That's right. It was, it was handed to him. That boy be putting on this thing. He would show pictures of him hitting me and never me hitting him. And, man, they robbed me with no gun. And I'm going to expose him one day soon. We in round two, and yeah, Fedora better he better you better watch the, the distance he throwing him jabs, cause I'm telling you, Tim Kazoo was looking for that one hit or quitter. But trust me, in the back of his mind, he remember Sebastian Fedora going backwards, head hitting the canvas, him not getting up, and Fedora is doing something he's not used to doing. He is boxing. And you would think this would be his style, but this is not normally how you fight. So if it ain't broke, you can't fix it. But, hey, trying something new, and who knows? Against this opponent he's in the ring with right now, maybe it might work. Definitely a very interesting fight early on because, you know, um, Sebastian Fendora is fighting tall, Some I never see him fight. And... You know, he's making it hard for um, Tim Kazoo, who's looking real real solid and looking confident in what he's doing. But that right hook that he tried to throw just now, he missed. And, hey, he better watch it because uh, hey, one thing that um, the the Tataro, the Pharaoh, the um, the giant um, Fedora can do is he can crack. So, remember, he ain't through a hard punch yet. So, Tim better watch out for that left uppercut. That's the same uppercut that caught Lubin. So, yeah, he ain't do nothing hard yet. Why Tim Kazoo is not showing no respect from all the, the Pharaoh, all it takes is one punch. And he ain't do a hard shot yet. You know what I mean, SB? So, yeah, so I'm telling you, watch what I tell y'all. Oh, but if he don't hurt but throw something, he's going to mess around and be on the canvas. He's going to mess around getting knocked out because – yeah, look who's getting closer and starting to land good shots now. Tim Gazoo is. He done worked his way on the inside. And why why um Fedora just sitting there being a punching bag and just trying to land jabs and trying to box. Oh no, this is not the Fedora I'm used to seeing. But hey, I guess and somebody bleeding. So yeah, somebody definitely bleeding. It might be Fedora. Yeah, I see blood on his chest. I think it's the nose or either the mouth. Them straight punches is coming straight down the middle. That just lets you know how sharp um, Tim Kazoo is. That that man, listen, it, ain't, it don't seem like he threw too many too meaningful punches, but the punches he's landing is right down the middle. And I ain't saw the, uh, oh, he could keep getting caught with these shots that um, Tim Kazoo catching him with. He going to get knocked out. And I ain't seen no uppercut, no hooks, nothing. When is um, Pharaoh going to throw some hard shots? The Pharaoh. What's that called? What's that called? The, uh, what's that called when you tall? Inferno. Inferno. I keep saying the Pharaoh, the Inferno. <laughs> the Inferno. Fer oh, dang, he got a cut on his head? Dang, that's a deep cut on the top of his head. Oh, that's where the blood coming from. Dang, he didn't need a good, good cut man bad. Dang, that mug is deep. I oh, don't know. I think that might have been, a, uh, you know, an elbow. Then that boy got that boy six foot six, six foot seven, fighting during middleway. His elbow is going to be so sharp. 
Yeah, they go. They gonna go get a doctor for that, huh? Who? Yeah, that's a real. Oh yeah, heck yeah, that's deep. The good thing he ain't getting caught like that, you know. Look at this. Watch the doctors go see. Look at this. Dang, yeah, that. That's bad. We gonna. It's gonna be a no contest. Yeah, this going to the judges. As a no contest. Well, it ain't going to judge. This is going to be we not. He's shaking his head like, no, nah, bro. This is bad. Oh, is they letting him fight? Oh, letting him fight? I, what do I know about cuts? I'm not a doctor. Doc said, go ahead. I know I saw the head shake, huh? Oh, I got you. Now I guess who's going to be desperate? Exactly. He might run into one. I'm telling you. He, he blessed it. Um, I'm telling you, he blessed that that boy got knocked out his last fight. Yeah, he is fighting. Yeah, but the referral guy, he ain't throwing no shots. That boy open for left uppercuts. He ain't through one yet. Look at that. He fighting. He fighting cautious. I ain't never saw uh, Sebastian fighting um, cautious, huh? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. But this is it. This is gonna be stopped. That man is so bloody. This is it. MMA fans would love to see something like this. But this ain't come from no actual punch. Look how look how bad that bloody he is. This is not going after this round. They gonna definitely stop the fight. Or accidental uh, butt or cut. But you gotta give it to um, uh, what's the man's name? Um, uh, uh, ooh, he getting caught now. Um, uh, my man Tikazu. But look at all that blood. Oh man, you talking about a massacre? This is this kind of remind me of uh, that Carrie movie. All that blood. That and he did come out with fire on his shorts. Look how bloody this guy is. This is all one guy blood. Oh my goodness! Look at this right here. He didn't get real bloody for um, Amazon. Look at that blood. Oh man, that's, yeah, he losing too much blood. You can make sure I'm not losing all that blood. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, it's come out of his head. Yeah, and look who he getting caught now because he can't see it. All the blood in his face. I'd have told him, his team probably should have told him we can't. He can't see. But he ain't, that ain't no. And he gonna mess around and get caught. If, um, Sebastian got a good chance to win this fight, man, and come out with a knockout because the man can't see. Just duck and throw the uppercut. Left uppercut. As soon as he see, make him duck and then throw the uppercut. Who? Oh, yeah. He bleeding too, though. He getting caught. Look at his nose. Look at his nose. Yeah, his nose. He might, his nose might be broke. Dang, this is, boy. It's like the Carrie movie. That boy is bleeding like a zombie. Man, after this round, I hate to say it, stop the fight. Because you just never know what could happen. But I think um, Fandura nose broke. Yeah, his nose broke. Yeah, them boys is letting it go. Yep, it's round five. Yeah, we need we need to see a rematch. This, this should be a great rematch. Stop the fight. It's over. Can't see. Blood. Stop the fight. And let it be a rematch. This should be a rematch. And a rematch, you know who I might have winning why? Oh, yeah, he got hair butter. You could tell. Yep, he just, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, man, look at that. Watch the hair button. I mean, it's the elbow. Watch the elbow. Right about, bam, there it goes. The elbow. Yeah, I knew it was the elbow. I already knew exactly what it was. That boy got a sharp elbow. Man, this is some dead. That's just let you know. Boxing is cutthroat. They letting this man still fight all that blood he's losing. Is this a real doctor or what? Man, he needs some stitches. Man, you ain't lying. But they letting him fight though. Wow. They this ain't blood, sweat, and tears. I don't know what, what to tell you. This is the real meaning of blood, sweat, and tears. Pandora definitely better take advantage because, um, man, definitely God is on his side from what I see. 
I ain't lying because you go get from getting knocked out to fighting for a world title, your next fight, and then you elbow. I don't think you elbowed the guy on purpose. Elbows um, Tim Kazoo, and Tim Kazoo can't see now. Man, both guys bloody. But look at his nose. His nose broke. Man, heck yeah, he got sores for elbows. That elbow, you see what the elbow did to that boy forehead? That, that I mean, that, that guy at the top of his head, that, guy, that elbow cut him super bad. Look at that man's face. That guy like he been in a car accident. Yeah, man. I don't know. They got Tim Kazoo winning. They, 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 they being biased. I know Terrence Crawford, like, man, he messing my money up. He's somewhere looking at this fight like, oh, man, say it ain't so. Yeah, this boy going to have to go through some serious, as they, as they say, fire, hell fire, or fire to win this fight. And so is Sebastian Fendora. He's going to have to go through fire, too, because his nose is broke. You can tell. Yeah, they going through there. Yeah, they going through something I ain't never experienced even in my career. Both of them guys is going through. You get knocked out and you you fighting for a war title next. And then this other guy, he can't see. It's blood everywhere. This is one of them fights, right? This is, people going to be watching this fight. They going to think about MMA. They going to say, man. Yeah, but hey, this what you sign up for. Anything can happen. Could have happened to me. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to still be fighting all the way to the end. Man. Yeah, but you clearly can see that, um, what's the guy, Sebastian Fedora is not the same. No, he would have been, man, I ain't saw that man throw nothing crazy yet. Oh, man, my goodness, he would have went for it. So from that, so that boy is, is, a, is a good, but he, he, he was taught just to throw a lot of um, jabs in this fight. They told him to box a little bit. I think it's the wrong time to be a boxer. He should be trying to get the knockout. I mean, throw a little boxing munches here and there, but then throw the uppercut. I don't even saw no uppercut yet. This is a good fight. Only because can, neither guy can see. Both guys bleeding like zombies. This is, oh, man, I'm surprised it went this long. Somebody going to cheat. They going to they gonna know that um, the um, kazoo is up, and they going to stop the fight. Cause they're gonna be, they're gonna be, they're gonna be scared of they losing their money. Dang! Look at all that blood. There he is. There he is. That's a lot of blood, bro. Yeah, guy can man. That's a lot of blood. Man, listen. I know fighters want. I know the um. You know, I know the fans want to see blood, sweat, and tears, but this is too much. It's really too much. Like, look, man, the man got elbowed in the head, and he ain't about to knock um, um, Fendura out because Fendura can clearly know that it's, it's, he has some kind of advantages now. Nah. Dang, that boy knows broke. I, I, hey, I thought they might have called a fight, but don't look like they calling it. Look like this is gonna go until somebody get the guy up out of there. Yeah, I definitely don't want to see nobody die. Look at that. It says thirty-eight, thirty-eight. It's a draw right now, and and, and um, Joe Goosen's eyes on the unofficial scorecards. Yeah, both guys showing a lot of heart. Ooh, them the shots that I don't know. I'm used to seeing from, uh, from Dora with the left hooks and stuff like that. Oh, good little shot from um, Sebastian. Yeah, they, they going for the knockout. Both guys going for the knockout, even with all that blood. It was an accidental head um, elbow by um, Sebastian Fendora that put a big cut on on Tim Kazoo's um, top of his head. So Tim Kazoo was bleeding like a zombie for those that don't know. But at the same time, 
Sebastian Fedora knows I believe it's broke, so he's bleeding like a zombie too. So you got a bunch of blood on both fighters, the whole body, from their head to their stomach to their legs. It's even blood on their legs. The blood done leaked all the way down to the legs of both fighters. You see blood on both their legs and both their bodies and both their heads and both their faces. It's all blood. And um, but Tim Kazoo is constantly putting pressure on um Sebastian Fedora. He's trying to you know retain his belt, and um Sebastian Fedora is you know trying to you know knock um Tim Kazoo out the game, but it's so hard in doing it when your nose is broke. So even though you know you can exactly, even though you know he's he's getting he's catching um. Tim Kazoo with some good shots, and Tim Kazoo can't see with all that blood in his face. You know, hey, like SB said, if your nose broke, you can't breathe. So how can you actually, you know, stand up to all these punches? Good body shot from um, and then finally he threw an uppercut. Um, Sebastian Fandora finally. Yeah, he can't breathe. Out of yeah, yeah. So both guys are going places they've never been before. Hey, I'm telling you. And if they can get through this fight, both guys, it's going they're gonna grow as boxers, like to the next level. That I've witnessed, I've been through then I'm saying some crazy, you know, uh tribulations or trials in, in a sport of boxing and, and got through it. And it's a hey man, it's just a good fight because neither guy is willing to quit. And round for round you see Blood on top of blood. Oh my goodness. It deep boy, oh boy, oh boy. You sure about to find out, boy. Yeah, and my man shoot, he's six six. Yeah, he been that way for a long time. Ooh, man. Yeah. Yeah, but they giving that boy, they giving him a lot of water though, and they start they stopping the blood a lot. They putting, you know, they doing the right stuff. So hopefully the doctors know what they are doing. Like you know what I mean, allowing it to continue to go like this. You feel me? Yeah, they know what they're doing though. Them do some doctors in them up, and they see the, the severity of the cut and how bad it is. Man, we in round six, or. Maybe one of these guys will stop the fight themselves with a knockout. Yeah, so maybe that might happen. If it's going to happen, I think um, both guys got to do it like when 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 they first come out when the bell go ding ding because that's when you can see a little bit better because now the the corners don't wipe wipe all the blood. And you know, um, Tim Kazoo is actually going for the home runs like never before. I mean, he even switching up and fighting desperate, you know? And you would think that that's when Sebastian would take advantage of it, but this ain't the same Sebastian Fendura that for a Lubin. Yeah, no, this ain't the same guy. This is a guy that went out, I'm talking about out cold, sleep out. Yep, yeah, we in round six. And yeah, so... And he would have definitely took advantage of, of, of all this blood on the face of um, Tim Kazoo. Yeah, he would have took advantage of that. But at the same time, Tim Kazoo done, done bloodied his nose and his face. <clears throat> so Tim is fighting in desperation. He ain't never been through nothing like this in his life. I ain't never, yeah, he ain't never been through this. What do you do when you go through something like this and you've never been through it before? You just got to, you know, get through it. And if Fedora losing blood too, though, yeah, remember, he, he getting whooped too. Both guys getting whooped. I think Tim Kazoo can take a punch too because at the end of the day, that Fedora guy still got leverage and he's still punching. Yeah, it's a good fight, boy. But these are the kind of fights you take on a short notice you probably shouldn't take. 
that it was a dangerous fight they'd be taking on a short notice, wasn't it? Wow. Good left hook from um Tim Kazoo. And good straight left hand from Sebastian Fendora. Boy, who thought we would see this, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, in the main event. I could see it coming, you know what I mean? It could be like this, but I wouldn't think it would have been through the headbutt. I thought it would be just from the punches. It came from headbutts. I mean, it came from the elbows. Yeah, I, I thought it could be like this. And, yeah, this, you know, this is why I say on paper, it really was a good fight. It was a better fight than um, Keith Thurman and, and Tim Kazoo for sure. Yeah, yeah, but Tim would have been on his bicycle. You got to catch him. I mean, I mean, um, Keith Thurman would have been on his bicycle. You got to catch him. Yeah, we might have to go to the scorecards. Yeah, Pernar, you can love Roly all you want to. Roly bus has been stopped. Yeah, he he got. He got his butt handed to him. He's super entertaining when it comes to talking mess. But uh, when it comes to boxing, uh, he ain't super entertaining because he went out there and um, Pitbull Cruz's dog walked him. The blood is not coming along. Well, the blood is coming along. You said how the blood coming along? It's coming along. It's constantly coming along. He sure did, Brian, that bought that pit bull chain for nothing. <laughs> you bought one, too. <laughs> stop it. They can't stop that blood. And his nose broke. Can't stop his blood either. Oh, the referee? Oh, yeah, look at the, the doctor. The doctor like, bro, is you dizzy? Can you see? Are you okay? And look, what you think a fighter going to say? Yeah, I can see. Even when you can't see. I never saw a fighter say, I stop the fight well you know you might have chihuahuas to say that but not a real fighter most most fighters are gonna be like i'm good i'm straight i remember i was one i was looking at the referee like you tell me but <laughs> i remember that one time sb remember that one time oh my goodness heck yeah huh 58 to 56, we got Tim Kazoo up, y'all. Stop it! Man, but he told me if he's going to go to score cars, I said, oh, no, let's go. I'm ready. You ain't about to take nothing from me. Uh-oh. Overhand left. Double jab from... Um, now, this is the fight you would think that how this guy would be fighting all his life. Um, Sebastian Fendora using a jab. He ain't never... I ain't never saw him using a jab and stuff. Now all of a sudden he even became a boxer. This is what you'd have thought he'd have, he'd have fought all of them, all his whole career, and he could see the punches coming. Now he got so much confidence because the punches that was coming the way um, Tim Kazoo was throwing them. Now Tim Kazoo he throwing them off desperation. He he can't see really when he, the shots he's throwing. He's just trying to land the shots that he normally would have probably landed because both guys are bloody. But Tim Kazoo is even bloodier, and he's the one with the big cut on top of his forehead. Well, on top of his head, not forehead, on the top of his head. And so the blood is leaking down in his eye where he can't even really see. And the doctor was asked him, do you want to continue? And, and he said, yeah, being a, a real fighter. And I think it might cost him. I think he'll mess around and get knocked out because he can't hardly see. I mean, I'm just being real with you. He got a lot of heart, but I think he going to mess around and get caught. But then again, probably not, just because Fandora got knocked out his last fight. And I just don't think that Fandora got the, just the, the confidence that he once had. But after this fight, he get through this fight, he going to be uh, he gonna be back the same guy he used to be probably. But both guys giving it all they got with all the blood in the world in this ring. I'm talking about this is a bloodbath. And shoot, I got a shoot. For, and Fedora, he, I ain't never seen Fedora box the way he boxing now. He winning this round by far, um, Fedora. He just keeping it simple, keeping his long jab out there and throwing straight left hands and, you know what I'm saying, back to the jab, and he just keeping it simple. 
back to the jab again from uh, Fedora. Then he's staying long, backing up. Then he comes on with the straight left hand on the middle. Yeah, that round definitely is going to um Sebastian Fondora. That one definitely went to for Sebastian. Yeah, you definitely can't teach heart, boy. And hey. Yeah, and that's the reason why the man continued to go. But the come on, the judges gotta know. I mean not the judges, but the doctor gotta know. Look, bro, I understand. You know what I mean? But because of a precaution, you can lose too much blood. I know you're saying you're okay, but we got to go to the scorecards. Yeah, they, they, both guys are going through some serious adversity. Both guys. Man, follow me on Instagram at K9Boxing. When y'all tap in, y'all whoop that trick. Y'all hit the like button when y'all tap in. He got to try, and that's why I say, why he got the, whenever, whenever the bell go ding, ding, that's when he got to be trying to go get it. Because that's when you be able to, that's when you can see. So why not go and get it when you can see? Because, you know, middle of the round, blood everywhere. You can't see nothing. You're wiping blood all over your face. Oh, oh yeah. I right, said what again? Oh yeah, I'm surprised they didn't take it from the other brother though. That's what I'm surprised about. This fight that went to eight rounds, I'm surprised it went this far. Shoot, if it continue to go this way, Wanna. They should, they should, they should not take it. They should not, not give it to the other guy. I mean, they should call it a draw. <clears throat> Don't just give it to the other guy because the other guy is not winning. These last two, three rounds has been all on um, from Dora. So, I mean, I understand that um, Tim Kazoo can't see, but hey, it ain't, it ain't for Dora for it, right? Exactly. Oh yeah, 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 but I'm just saying, like I think early on, Tim, you know, did enough to be, you know, to be winning. See how close it is? It's close. An unofficial scorecard, you know, somebody got Tim Kazoo up one round. I'd have took that one to the house. I couldn't see. I'm taking that one to the house. The, the doctor the king. Oh, we gonna live the fight again. We can we can rematch this boy. This man I'm about to beat me by elbowing me on the top of the head, and I can't see. That's that's some dirty stuff. Even though he didn't do it on purpose, that's still dirty because um, I'm messing around. I might lose my title. It's a good fight though. Good, but yeah, Tim Kazoo, he can't see. And I don't think the power the same when you lose all that blood. You you ain't got the same power. That power, yeah, heck yeah, it could take your energy. The oxygen out your blood. Yeah, the oxygen is just coming from your blood. Oh man. But this is a good fight, a good back comeback fight for um for Dora. For Dora to bounce back big, uh, he bounced back as they say beautifully from his knockout loss. Win, lose, uh, win, lose a draw. Oh yeah, I think we might be um. Oh, they keep showing what happened to Jim saying, Yeah, don't be trying to use it as an excuse. Dang, that was bad. That blood is dripping. That boy is dropping. I mean, he losing blood like somebody cut him. Man. Yeah, when a, when a fighter gets a bad cut, it definitely changes everything. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely a great card tonight, Donald. 
real for real. Yeah. A real great card tonight, big fella. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about that. That all that you lose all that blood, you get fatigued. But he still, hey, he's still in there, boy. I just, from what I see, and now if if Fedora could win these next um three rounds, they're gonna be mad. Tim Kazoo gonna be mad. Hey, what you know, you man, that, that elbow cost you your belt. They gonna give it to that Fedora. I still don't think they're going to give it to Fedora. Ooh, good left hook from um from uh, Tim Kazoo. But that tall guy can see it. Just think about it. When you punch up, the guy that's standing up high or the tall fighter is going to see it coming. So he see the shots coming. And he got confidence out of this world. Knowing he in there with a guy that is bleeding like a zombie, even though he know how that guy got cut. He know exactly how the guy got cut. He taking chances and everything now. That boy Sebastian Fedora. He's catching um Tim Kazoo with good left hands now. And you never know. This could take some off Tim Kazoo after this fight. He might not be the same fighter after this, you know? When he he was on a winning streak or a knockout streak, if he don't get a knockout now, he could be he may he might not be the same fighter. That's a lot of blood. A lot of blood and he's looking human. He ain't used to looking human and Man, yeah, this this could be bad news for him. A show was about to put him in there with Crawford, and he still might, but he gonna have to take a long vacation. Yeah, both fighters gonna have to take a long vacation from this right here fight that they didn't have him. Yeah, I'm like neither guy going to sleep at all. These cats will do anything to try to let me see. Man. We in round nine. Boy, we hate, I hate the a guy to lose his title the way he loses. He might lose his title. But he's showing the heart of a lion. That boy is showing the heart of a lion. He got hair bunt. I mean, he got elbow and he's bleeding because of the elbow. And it definitely clearly is the reason why he's not showing the same um, um, punch count he normally would show. Just think before he got cut like that one, he was, he was made to throw a head, bounce back. That man head ain't bounced back since. Yeah, yeah, this is hey, somebody gonna be mighty, mighty mad. We at round 10. Is this the championship rounds? Tim Kazoo trying to wake up, boy. He bouncing around, and guess who they got winning? They got Fedora winning. Yeah, blood or no blood, yeah, shoot, yeah. Oh, no, I'm calling the championship rounds. You know, it's round 10 in my eyes, championship rounds. You got it, 10, 11, 12. You need every round. This is a close fight. Man, 
the F- Bastard Fedora is keeping um, Tim at an at a, at a angle, at a distance. Tim is bleeding like a zombie. Oh, good left hook right hand from Tim. But oh, another right hand from Tim. Oh, hey, you better watch it. Man, he trying to get you out of the game. He's starting to see something. Yeah, Tim is starting to see something. Look. He said, forget it, man. Hey, listen, I'm about to go out like with a lump lump. I got to do what I got to do. He ain't even worrying about that no more. Now nah, your belt is on the line, buddy. I ain't giving you nothing. And I don't know why your team took this fight on short notice anyway. You know, your heart going to get you killed like that, boy. Man, this is a good look for um the... For the um, giant, Sebastian Fondor, this is a real good look for him. Like, he came back. He thought his career was over with. It's not. Win, lose, the draw. He, he still got a career. I think that elbow, though, I ain't going to lie to you for real. SB, that elbow helped him a lot. Good one, too, though, down the middle from um, Tim Gazoo. Shoot, Tim might be winning this round. This, is, this might be an even fight so far. Even though Sebastian is throwing a jab, he's throwing a lot of jabs, but the power punches is going to in the favor of Tim Kazoo. And Tim said, forget about all the blood. Now it's time, you know, to retain my belt. Good little left hook from um from Dora. Then good straight left hand. I mean good left hook from um, Tim Kazoo and straight left hand from Fondora right down the middle. Right hand to the body from Tim Kazoo. And jab, jab, jab with little Paul jabs from um Sebastian. But no, nah, he ain't winning this round. So far, I got, I got Tim Kazoo, the little man, winning this round. And a good right hook at the end. A little two-piece and a biscuit. Yeah, he definitely had the round. Yeah, that's a good, hey. That's a good analysis, boy. Yeah, if he can do that, if the Mexican G, if he can throw that jab and move around, you can't. Because you got to remember, um, Tim ain't going to be able to see him. If he can throw that jab and move, that would be a good look for um, Sebastian. He can mess around and win the fight. Use him legs a little bit. Good jab, good right hand down the middle from um, Tim Kazoo. Man, this is a great fight. Especially these guys, the way these guys fighting under the adversity that they up under. Yeah, I got it even. Oh boy, it's a bloody a bloody fight to call, but boy oh boy, we in round eleven, an even fight. This is up for grabs. And you gotta you gotta force your will. And you gotta say, yeah, you gotta throw all the distractions out the window. And they crazy. They got they had Fedora winning that round. Yeah, that they they got that one wrong. Fedora did not win that round. Good job from uh Fedora and Lil Paul from um from uh, Tim Kazoo. And Tim is going for the haymakers. While Sebastian keeping it simple, just using this long jab. Some I'm not accustomed to seeing. And I guess getting knocked out really changed him to be what kind of fighter he probably should have been in the first place. Good right hand. Excuse me, good right hand down the middle from um, Tim Kazoo. And he and and Sebastian Fedora just keeping it simple. Another double jab. And I don't think I never saw Sebastian Fedora eyes swole. It looked like to me his eyes were swole. Good jab from Sebastian Fedora. Hey, this this fight now we in championship rounds. Uh oh. Good left hand out the middle for Sebastian. He just keep it simple. He just doing the straight one two straight jabs. I don't see him really throwing no hard shots. The hard another double jab. The hard shots is coming from um coming from Tim Kazoo. But yeah, um, man, that boy, um, he is definitely, both guys look like they in a fight. Yeah, they both in a real fight. I mean, the crowd looking, 
Like, man, these boys came to put it on. Anybody said boxing is dead, they crazy because boxing definitely ain't dead. The way these guys put it on, these guys showing a whole lot of heart. And this fight definitely was pay-per-view. Um, yeah, uh, definitely it was worth it. With these guys putting on everything they got, and Sebastian trying to keep uh, Tim Kazoo at bay, and Tim going in, trying his best to go for the knockout, and good jab from um, Sebastian Fandora, and he's moving and jabbing, and left hook from um, Tim Kazoo, and they both still bloody as I don't know what, but still giving it all they got. Good jab from Sebastian. Good one-two down the middle from Tim Kazoo. And it's A for effort because neither guy landed clean, but they both still trying. Good right hook try from Tim Kazoo. Even though he didn't land, he's still trying to go for the gusto, even in round 11. Good one, two from um, Tim Kazoo. And good at the end of the bell. Both guys tried. They gave it all they had that round. Wasn't nothing really landed clean. But uh, I bet you on the unofficial scorecards, um, Goosen, I bet you Goosen gave that round to, to uh, gave that round to um, Tim Kazoo. When I get it last round to Tim Kazoo, that round could have went either or. And the IBF world champion for Dora Sisters in the corner, you know, supporting her brother. And um, the man, this might be the, the first time I think in history if Sebastian Fandora can win the title, that we got the brothers and sisters holding belts at the same time. That boy, he's showing his daddy, he just bobbing and weaving like he in the fight. But I understand when you, you know, you're watching your fight or fight, you into it like that. So we in the last 12th and last, the final round. This could be the, 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 the the factor of who wins the fight right here, this could be determined who wins the fight. This last round right here. This last round is going to determine a lot. Who would win, win this round could win the fight. Or whoever down need to win this round. Both guys need to give it all they got. Yeah, he do. But he's smart enough not to throw real hard shots, though. See, he don't throw hard shots. He get a lot of leverage, but he don't throw hard shots. If he threw hard shots, boy, he would not go to a round to be that skinny. And good. Both guys are going all out. This is round 12 and a bloodbath. Both guys been bleeding since round two. Ooh, good right hook from uh, Tim Kazoo. But, hey, Sebastian took it and shook it and then came back with a combination. This is a great, this is the best performance that, um, um, Sebastian Fedora has ever had, but um, for um, Tim Kazoo, this is not the best performance he's ever had, but this is the most gutting performance he's ever had because being bleeding, bleeding like he bleeding, good right hook, and still going at it, didn't quit, still fighting. You know what I mean? Hey, both guys are showing tremendous heart, and listen, nobody got heart like these boxers. I mean, you know what I mean? You talking about. Blood, sweat, and tears. This guy's been bleeding since the first round. We ain't talking about MMA where they only go like three, four rounds, five at the most. These guys go on 12 rounds, bleeding, punching each other in the face constantly. Ain't you no, know, I could grab you and hold you and wrestle you. and let, No, they punching each other constantly. Round after round. Good hook from Tim Kazoo and a good body shot. Good. Then good left hand from Sebastian Fendora. And this back and forth action. We talking about some with 47 seconds left in the fight. We talking about a good fight. So far, the fight of the year. How can you not say this like the fight of the year? Good guy. Good um, hooks from both guys. Oh, man. A good one, too, from Tim. Good left hand from Fendora. Good hook from both guys. And they giving all they got and some in round 12 with 26 left in the round. Oh, good left hook from Fedora. Good left hook from Tim Kazoo. And we got 16 seconds left in the, in the round. And I hope it ain't another cut. 
by mistake from a, a head bunt or an elbow, and we give and we about to finish. We about to go to the finish line. Four seconds left. Great fight, and we about to go to the scorecards at K Nine Boxing. Oh man, much respect for both guys, boy. They deserve each other's respect. Please wipe that boy face, and please wipe his face too, boy. And listen, everybody earned their job. I'm telling you tonight, because any and everybody that's in that ring or have to do any kind of business with these fighters is going to be going to have blood on them. I'm talking about from the doctors. The doctor got blood on his suit. Everybody earned their money. I'm telling you, ain't going to be too many hugs tonight. Not with them bleeding where they bleeding. You're not going to see a lot of hugs right now. I bet you don't see no hugs. They're going to try to keep them suits as clean as possible. That was a great, uh, I'm telling you, they go, hey, listen, that was a great fight. You're not going to see no hugs, I'm telling you. Watch, you don't, these guys don't get no hugs or all that blood. Hey, would you give me a hug if I was bleeding like that, SB? Look at that, she told me, uh-uh. All the love in the world, I couldn't get a hug, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Get your butt in the shower or something. But I love you. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, man. That boy, Vinny Ross, said, that's a draw. Sam say eight to four. Oh, no, they is not about to take that belt from the Tim Kazoo. Tim Kazoo got a country behind him. Sebastian Fedora done already lost before. They got knocked out before. Oh, man. It is, at, at least it's going to be a draw. Why should I tell you? At the least. Yep. Yeah, I think it's going to be a draw. I mean, that's the worst. The worst I can see it is a draw. But um, you got, you hope somebody win? Oh, no, I, I don't. I don't. If, if, if somebody going to win, it should be it should be Fedora, to be honest with you. If somebody should win, it should be Fedora. That means that's the right person because he the one. If it's a winner, he the winner. Oh, it's a draw. That's terrible. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a draw. Oh, Fedora. It should be Fedora. They're going to cheat him, though. Yep, he got it. That's the right person. The right person won. Man, that boy won both belts. He went from, oh, yeah, ain't nobody going to be knocking down his dough. The right person won. Yeah, the right person won. They they gave it to the right person. Hey, the other guy should, I, I would have called it a day. His team should have called that a day. Like, bro, you just got elbowed. Because I don't, I, I don't think, I think that really, had um had something to do with his performances that head but that I mean that elbow to the head, you know, man would have come back. That boy is a comeback king. Yeah, he the comeback king for to get knocked out and to become world champ. But who gonna knock down his dough at one fifty four? Nobody. Now you got to go through him, and he gonna get way better. Now he, his confidence gonna be so off the chain. Yeah, his, his confidence is going to be off the chain. Everybody going to skip past junior middleweight. They're going to go straight to welterweight. I mean, or they're they going to they, they go to welterweight or they're going to go straight to super middleweight or middleweight. They ain't going to they gonna skip past him. I appreciate the um the um, the um cash app. I just saw somebody just cash tap me. Appreciate you, huh? Hey, go ahead.
about to peace out though, you hear me SP? Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm just telling you that. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great night of boxing, y'all. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. And um, God bless dogs us. Ar, ar, ar. But it's over, you hear me? Till next time. Stop it! You hear me? Good work, y'all.